Anything you need to do, just call the phone. I will, man. Appreciate it. Johnny Johnson, represented by Loretta and Rodney Sweeney, plans to attend Mars Hill University to major in sports management. Let's see if it's picking up yet, Robbie. Okay. Juan Jolly, represented by Donis and Dorothy Jolly. It's just not up yet. Okay, you're on live. All right, so we're on live. We'll, we'll just have a redo there. Tom Sinafani and Robbie Roop filling in. Robbie, appreciate you being here. Ron Green Stadium, George Falls Field at the Bill Schubert Heating and Air pregame show. And as always, Burns Football brought to you by West End Sales. We were talking about what a special night it is for all these seniors here at Burns High School. Yeah, you know, senior night always a special night. And, and it, it, it recognizes the dedication that these kids have put into the program for the, these four years, the dedication the parents have put in uh, to the program for that time. So it's always it's always wonderful to recognize those folks. Tom, like you said, we all remember our senior night. And it was just a couple of years ago I was out there with my son for his senior night as well. So uh, just a big night for everybody involved. Yeah, it was emotional for my daughter on her senior night. At least we did get that in. That was the COVID year, but we got the fall senior night in. And Grandma and Grandpa were here and everything. So it was just just a, a really special night here, senior night. So I wanted to give at least one shot there to our seniors out there on the field, our senior cheerleaders, our senior football players, our senior members of the band. We're so proud of our seniors. Congratulations to you and all your achievements this year. So we're going to step away for just a couple minutes on the Bill Schuford Heating and Air pregame show. We'll be back to break down this game between Burns and the visiting East Gaston Warriors. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Burns Football, brought to you by West End Sales. If you need fireworks for your event, then call on Contracted Power Technics and talk with Dustin for today. They are the bomb. Dustin is a graduate of Burns High School and supplies all the fireworks you've seen at the Burns High School football games. If your town or organization needs fireworks, call Dustin Ledford today at 704-473-1996. That's 704-473-1996. Have a party, have a blast with Contracted Power Technics. It's truck season at Marburger Chevrolet in Shelby. Come see the new 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 Crew Cab RST. Get 0% APR financing for well-qualified buyers, plus no monthly payments for 90 days when you finance with GM Financial. Plus get a $750 cash allowance. Or make every day a getaway with the new 2023 Chevy Equinox. Get 2.1% APR financing for well-qualified buyers or take $1,250 cash allowance. Get yours today at Barburger Chevrolet, 200 West Dixon Boulevard, Shelby. Drivers, start your engines! Start your engine of savings at Campers Inn in Kings Mountain. Race on in now during the Campers Inn 500. Over 500 units have been discounted for year-end savings. It's the best time of the year to buy. Don't make a pit stop elsewhere. Head to the finish line of savings at Campers Inn in Kings Mountain during the Campers Inn 500. Campers Inn, 615 South Broadway off Highway 161 South at I-85 in Kings Mountain. Online at CampersInn backslash KingsMountain.com. Like them on Facebook too. Today, having choices at the end of life's journey is more important than ever. Choosing the proper way to honor a loved one is not an easy task. There are many emotional, personal, and spiritual issues to consider. Now there is a new alternative to traditional burial and flame-based cremation. Fidel's Aquamation is a water-based natural process that gently returns your loved one's remains to their natural ash form. Learn more at stamietysigerfuteralhome.com or drop by their offices in Falston and in Cherryville. Buying a home can seem like a daunting task, but it's really not with Homestar Financial. With a short phone call, we can get you pre-approved. Once pre-approved, you're free to shop for the home of your dreams. At Homestar Financial, we can tell you the price or payment range that you qualify for. Your realtor will appreciate that you took the time to get pre-approved. So call me today. Let's make buying a home a dream come true. With Homestar Financial, it's quick and easy with no surprises at closing. Call today. Shelby's CarQuest Parts Store is Shelby Auto Plus CarQuest, locally owned and operated. 
See Charles and Beth Cabanas, Lathan Queen, and Lisa McKinney for all of your auto parts needs. And Shelby Auto Plus Car Quest is your hydraulic hose headquarters. Also fittings to custom made hoses. They want to help you with all of your automotive parts needs. Shelby Auto Plus Car Quest, 409 North Washington Street in Shelby. Give them a call today at 704-482-2468, your CarQuest Auto Parts store. We're back. Tom Sinafani and filling in for Matt Royster. It's Robbie Root. Matt, I uh, don't know if you're listening tonight. I know that you're traveling, so hopefully you're staying safe and having a good time wherever you are. But Robbie's here to fill in for you this week, and we appreciate you doing that, Robbie. Of course, Robbie's able to fill in. Crest played Thursday night because they were worried about the weather. <laughs> what, a, what, a wonderful, what a wonderful night for a ball game tonight, Tom. They, they, they whiffed on that one. Sorry, sorry uh, uh, Jeremy Shields, and uh, sorry, uh, Coach Melton down there at, at Crest. Um, Should have kept it on Friday night. I know you're trying to look after the interests of the boys and, 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 you know, trying to keep your field in good shape for the playoffs coming back. Because, you know, if your field gets tore up in late October, it's, this Bermuda's not growing back. So, yeah, that's right. I mean, so I kind of understand the precaution, but you just missed an absolutely picturesque, gorgeous night. Uh, we've got some clouds, but it, the temperature is very comfortable. The humidity is very comfortable. It's just a great night for some high school football here in the great state of North Carolina. And we got a great battle in the 2A. we got... East Gaston coming in. Their results this year, victories over North Gaston, victory over Corvian Community, Stuart W. Kramer, Ashbrook, Cherryville, Thomas Jefferson, and Bessemer City. They come in at a perfect 7-0, Robbie. You know, a team right now that uh, top 12 in the RPI. Uh, but the thing for the Bulldogs, just playing this game is going to improve the RPI number right. because of that win-loss record of East Gaston. But, Tom, I tell you, when I look at that schedule, I don't want to take anything away from an undefeated team. But without a doubt, the best team they've seen all year, these Burns Bulldogs. Yeah, and I think previously it's an improved North Gaston team, uh, which they were able to handle in week one. Uh, a Stuart Kramer team has struggled this year, okay, but they took care of them. An Ashbrook team, that's Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. They're right. capable of playing good ball, but were shut out by East Gaston. So, you know, hard to tell. And we, we, we know that Burns has got two losses to Kings Mountain and Crest. So the non-conference has been a little tougher. Uh, went up and played a, a struggling Alexander Central team as well. A Forest View team that's only won one game this year. So Burns is a little mixed, but I think that those two games, Crest and Kings Mountain, they've had their medal tested. You know, you, you look at that for these Bulldogs, they played what some people say may be one of the best defenses in the state this year. Yeah, Kings they play Mountain, that Crest man. team. A lot of people say may have one of the best, best offenses, offenses in the state this yeah. year. So so to me, that says Burns would not be surprised by anything East Gaston does tonight. But, Tom, we know this East Gaston football team, they're going to want to run the football. Yeah, that's definitely right. They are averaging over 300 yards a game on the ground. And that's O'Marion McDowell and Isaac Brown. But don't forget about Trent and Cheryl all toting the rock. They've got 24 rushing touchdowns. Leading the way is Isaac Brown. He's averaging 118 yards a game in his five games this year. Pretty formidable attack for the East Gaston Warriors. You know, you, you talk about getting to that 7-0 record and, and at every level of football time, it's can you run the football and can you stop the run? And when you look at the games they've played, that's what East Gaston has been able to do. They've been able to run the football. They've been able to stop the run. And, again, we talk about veteran quarterbacks. Cheryl's been in this offense for a while now, the senior. Uh, so anytime you can bring that veteran quarterback back, we, we've seen it with Burns. We've seen it with that Crest team. Uh, that's always beneficial. You're, you're already on page two of the playbook when you go into summer. Yeah, right, Trent and Cheryl. Interesting you mentioned him. We've got to talk about him. <coughs> He's got a 141.5 QBR, 13 touchdowns against one interception, a completion percentage of 70%. This kid's playing good football right now, Robbie. Yeah, he, you know, you talk about he, he not only manages the game, He's a difference maker in the game. He's able to do a lot of things from the quarterback spot. He's, he can throw the football. He can. He's a, he's a threat to run with the ball as well. Stands back here at 6'4", so he's a big, tall quarterback. Burns has got to find a way to get some pressure on him here tonight. Yeah, as I said, 13 throwing touchdowns. He's got nine rushing touchdowns. He is a dual threat and a big kid, as you said, at 6'4". And who's... Uh, Receiving the football, Jace Rowe, he's got three touchdowns. Marion Pryor's got 
four touchdowns. C.J. Helms has got a couple of those 13 touchdowns. So what scares me about East Gaston is they can do it on the ground or through the air. It's certainly an offense that's able to spread the ball around. Uh, and, and so they're, they're going to try to get a lot of guys involved in this offense when you look at what uh, East Gaston has done this year. And when you go back and look at, at Coach Postel's history as a football coach, not only here at East Gaston, but there's other stops as well, he gets a lot of guys involved in his offense. It's happening here at East Gaston. My question for the Warriors comes on the defensive side of the ball, Tom. Yeah. I don't think they've seen the athletes they're going to see with the Bulldogs tonight. Could lead to a big shootout game here tonight, but if Burns can get out quick, if they can get the foot in the ground early, it's going to put a lot of pressure on this East Gaston defense. Yeah, if you look at the East Gaston defense, now they've got some good numbers. They've got Sheldon Clark. He's got 11 tackles for loss. Donovan Reed's got nine. Peyton Parker's got 17 tackles for a loss. These East Gaston Warriors are getting them behind the sticks, Robbie. I tell you, Tom, it, it, those are great numbers, but I could probably get a lot of those just off of Cherville Thomas Jefferson. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, not to take anything away from No disrespect. Yeah, no no those disrespect. Two, but it's at a different level of football right. than, than, than what they're going to see. Right, and they also have, if I'm reading this correctly, they've got, uh, that would be 32 minus 8 because the stat's a little bit wrong. they got 24 sacks on the year. Uh and again, it's Peyton Porter, uh, Peyton Parker. Listen, oh, excuse me, Peyton Parker leading the way with nine sacks on the year. So we'll see if that Burns offensive line going to be helped tremendously by the return of Caleb Bird tonight. Oh, that's huge. Six pancake blocks on the year, and he hadn't played in a few games. He was a little banged up. Talked to him in class because I had him fourth period. Said he's ready to go tonight. Great, that is great news for the Bulldogs on the injury front. So that's the East Gaston Warriors and Mike Goss. Thank you for listening in from Tampa Bay, Florida, here in Lawndale, North Carolina. We're about 18 minutes away from kickoff. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Bill Schufert Heating and Air pregame show. And as always, Barnes football is brought to you by West End Sales. Yes, when it comes to real estate, nobody does it better than Sherry Horn of Sherry Horn Real Estate. Sherry was voted the best real estate agent and best real estate office in Cleveland County. If you're in the market to buy or sell your home, talk with Sherry Horn at Sherry Horn Real Estate. Call 704-915-5450 or visit her website at soldbysherry.com. And like her on Facebook, too, and you'll see why nobody does it better. Triad Corrugated Metal in Lincoln is this area's headquarters for premium metal roofing and supplies. And now just arrived, square tubing from metal carports and metal buildings. Give them a call at 980-429-2278 for pricing and sizes. And they have a wide variety of colors at the website at triadcorrugatedmetal.com. And like them on Facebook too, Triad Corrugated Metal, 108 Industrial Park Road in Lincoln. Teresi Racing wants to wish the Burns Bulldogs good luck during this year's football season. Teresi Power Sports is your go-to for ATV and UTV parts, service and accessories, and Teresi is nationally recognized for building race engines and suspensions. They also perform race bike builds. Stop in today and see Santo and Heather Teresi. These people know what they're doing and they're located at 4225 Paulston Road in Shelby or find them online at www.dereseracing.com. Call them at 704-538-3512. Hey, I'm Joey Logano, and if you're looking for affordable, quality equipment, James River delivers. Whether you're mowing your lawn, hauling material, or baling hay, James River has the John Deere mowers, tractors, gator utility vehicles, and implements you need to get it done fast. Plus, with low rate financing and three rates, James River makes owning a John Deere just as easy as it is to operate. Request a quote online at jamesriverequipment.com. James River delivers affordable quality. Fall is here, and Main Street Hardware in Lydell is everything you'll need for the cooler weather months. All types of heaters are right now, plus a huge stock of Red Max equipment and price to sell. Hedgers, trimmers, and more. Check out the new line of outdoor furniture that you got to see. It's not too late to air you and reseed, and Main Street Hardware has seed, straw, and pine needles, too. And, of course, Main Street has all you need for projects around the house. See today, Main Street Hardware, 356. 
Main Street in Lindale, and like them on Facebook too. Go Bulldogs! Local, scratch made, and delicious food right there in Boston. It's Johnny Ray Smokehouse. The menu is loaded with delicious slow smoke barbecue, brisket, burgers, salads, plus Friday night is rib night. And be sure you start off your meal with their famous fried cheese curds. They're out of this world. Stop by today, Johnny Ray Smokehouse. 4629 Boston Road, Highway 18. Open 11 to 8 Wednesday and Thursday, 11 to 9 Friday and Saturday, 11 to 9 on Sunday. Like them on Facebook too. All right, we're back. Tom Sinefani and Robbie Roop. And now, this is for you, Jennifer. Wright's Jewelry, the sponsor of the Burns High School Marching Band. So we appreciate your support, and the Marching Band appreciates you. And they're getting, getting ready to give, I think, the Star Spangled Banner now. Are they getting ready to do that now, Robbie? I believe they are. Okay, so while they're getting ready, as the band director, Kyle Maples, is going to get up there, Burns... Sorry about that, Robbie. I had to get my spectacles adjusted. Understand. Burns, Burns comes in here at a record of 5-2. and two. Wins over Forest View, Alexander Central, Highland Tech, Bessemer City, and Thomas Jefferson. Losses to Crest in Kings Mountain back earlier in the season. Uh, so Burns comes in at 5-2. and two. Big win last week, 70-7 over Thomas Jefferson. But this one obviously going to be a much better test. And I tell you what, as this man goes, may go Burns. Ben Mooney comes in. Pretty impressive number, 16 touchdowns against three interceptions, 132 quarterback rating, completing about 64% of his passes. Need a big night from Ben tonight. Oh, you're exactly right. I think Ben needs to go out there and manage the game. The thing I'm interested in, Tom, is you've had a stretch if you're the Bulldogs where you've just – it's just kind of been ho-hum with what you've seen. The little sisters of the poor. You yeah. know yeah. going into this game, you've got an undefeated football team coming into your home. I think that's going to take your level of intensity up a notch. Right. I think it, it, it changes maybe the focus of this game a little bit. And I think that starts, as you said, with senior quarterback Ben Mooney, his leadership, what he does from the quarterback spot. And don't forget, he's having a pretty good year on the ground. He's got over 300 yards on the ground. He's got three touchdowns running that read option and he was talking to me in class today he said i fake you out on that broadcast all the time <laughs> i was like yeah man you do i can't tell who's got the football i mean now i'm pushing 50 years old and i'm pretty far away from the field but he does a pretty good job of hiding the football on that yes, read option does. does a does a very good job with that and then you know the other head you know the other part of that rushing game it's been primarily jeremiah norris averaging 112 yards a game He's got 17 touchdowns on the air. He's having a whale of a season. Jeremiah Norris, a special player here at Burns. And, and you talk about a guy that can do things from that running back spot. You talk about seeing a great athlete. That's Jeremiah. All right. So we're going to do the uh, national anthem. Let's see if I get that crowd mic up. Uh, I can't really hear that. I can't really hear that that well, Robbie. Can you? That crowd uh, I mic? Can't. I can't. So we're trying to get a little bit of the band and the uh, Star Spangled Banner. But we'll go ahead and throw in our player to watch by Whitetail Properties. And for me tonight, it's going to be Ben Mooney. I just think he's going to have to have a huge game for Burns to have a good chance to win this game. Now, yeah, yeah. presentation of the colors. And we'll give you a little bit of the marching band.
great performance there by the Burns Bulldogs band. A great performance out there with that national anthem time. They did a phenomenal job. To turn me down there, I'm going to blow everybody's ears out. Yep. I've always told that. But that again, that is brought to you by Wright's Jewelry. Uh, so we're going to quickly go through the uh, rest of the burn stats, give you the Whitetail Properties player to watch. It's going to be Ben Mooney. Go to the defensive side of the ball. Uh, tackles for loss. Burns um, kind of stockpiling those as well. 52 of them on the year. Um, Elijah Goodson with six. Ethan Guy with six. And Marshall McGowan with nine. And Marshall McGowan's going to be my other Whitetail pro uh, uh, Properties player to watch because stopping that running game, linebacker is going to be critical. Marshall's going to have to have a big game tonight. Yeah, if, if I was picking a player to watch tonight, that was that was my thought. Marshall McGowan and what he does on the defensive side of the ball tonight going to be of utmost importance for this Burns team. And don't forget about Bo Westbrook going both ways tonight. And he's got a he's got five tackles for loss. So they're really I think they're going to have their hands full with this East Gaston rushing attack tonight. So they've got to slow that down. They've got to find a way to slow down an offense that's got 300 yards rushing per game. So they're really getting done on the ground. And then sacks on the year, 10 of them. And it's really by committee. Amari Rankin, Little John with three. McGowan with three. Westbrook with three. And Wilson, the big freshman, with one for 10 sacks on the year. So if they do decide to try to mix it up with a pass, that pass rush is going to be important tonight. So hopefully yes. they'll be able to add to that sack total as well, Robbie. Yeah, absolutely right. Again, how can you? What kind of pressure can you get in that offensive backfield of East Gaston? Get back there, try to disrupt that timing. So we have got kickoff, Jim and Jay's Pizza Factory kickoff coming up in about seven minutes. So we're going to step away for just a few minutes. Uh, before I go, I just want to make sure all our listeners or have Kim and Tom Minowitz in their prayers. Uh, Kim has been ill, and we're thinking about you, and your brother Chris Black is thinking about you, and he's praying for you, and so is the entire Burns community. So we're all thinking about you, especially on this pink night. So please get well soon. Thoughts and prayers of the Burns community are with you. Uh, so don't go anywhere. Bill Shuford, uh, uh, Heating and Air pregame show coming back. As always, Burns football is brought to you by West End Sales. Catch another glimpse of the Burns High School Band. Once again, brought to you by Wright's Jewelry. We'll be right back. Oliver's Hardware and Garden Center is not just a hardware store, but a real general store, carrying items like feed and seed, hay, pine needles, and straw. Also, case knives, grove line, belts, Ash County cheese, Guernsey milk, Hunter's liver mush, and many more unique items not found in your typical hardware store. They've got it all at Oliver's Hardware. 3712 Faustin Road between Faustin and Shelby or online at olivershardware.com. Oliver's Hardware proudly supports the Burns football team and wishes them good luck for a great season. On the go quick lube in Faustin is not just oil changes, they have tires for all cars with names like GT Radio, Hanku, and Toyo, plus interstate batteries and wiper blades. Of course they do oil changes featuring Castro, Motorcraft, and Rotella diesel oil, and they carry diesel truck fuel filters. Plus, they're an official North Carolina inspection station. For quick service with competitive pricing and professional technicians, head over to On The Go Quick Loop today. 3716 Boston Road, Highway 18 North of Shelby, and go Burns Bulldogs. Bay Out of Home Health Care continues to grow, and because of this growth, they're in need of new employees. CB Auto Home Healthcare and join their growing team of healthcare professionals with immediate opportunities in Gaston, Lincoln, and Cleveland counties. And they take all safety precautions possible with an experienced trained staff. Just call 704 669 4000 or visit the website at bayada.com. Bayada Home Healthcare. They love what they do. Since 1968, Putnam Distributors in Patterson Springs has been serving this area with a full line of automotive products, including oils, transmission fluids, antifreeze, filters, chemicals, parts, and supplies for all types of automobiles and trucks with many brands to choose from. They sell to individuals or wholesale. Just visit the Walk Putnam Distributors. 1626 Peterson Drive off Highway 180 south of Shelby. Call 704-487-995 or visit the website at PutnamDistributors.com. Putnam Distributors in Patterson Springs, offering quality automotive parts and supplies for over 50 years. 
For nearly 50 years, the K family at Numbers Bookkeeping and Income Tax Service have been taking care of your bookkeeping and income tax needs in Shelby, Cleveland County, and the surrounding area. They feature a staff of enrolled agents and registered tax return preparers to make sure you get every advantage you deserve. That's Numbers Bookkeeping and Income Tax Service, 707 South Lafayette Street in Shelby. Give them a call at 704 484 2783. Online at numbersofshelby.com, they are there for you. It's time to get ready for flu season with a stop in at Medical Center Pharmacy in Cherryville and the Falston Pharmacy in Falston. Flu shot in. Drop by at your convenience and get your flu shot from a qualified technician. Stay healthy this winter and check with them for all your prescription needs. And both have a convenient drive through window. That's Medical Center Pharmacy, 607 East Academy Street, Cherryville, and the Falston Pharmacy on Highway 18 North in Falston. All right, here we got our captains, 33 Zach Courier, 74 Kayvon Bonner, uh, Bonner, 51 Bo Westbrook, and number three Jeremiah Norris are your captains. Burns in the baby blue helmets, the navy blue jersey with baby blue numbers, gold pants. Looks good. Yeah, I like that combination. Yeah, you can see the numbers. That's what I like. And looks like East Gaston. Looks like red helmets, Robbie? Yes. Red helmets, white jerseys. Looks like red trim and white pants for the East Gaston Warriors. So up goes the coin, and everybody looks down. And looks like East Gaston has won the toss. And... Let's see, Burns wants to go. Let's see what they're going to do here. So East Gaston wants the football. The they want the football. football. They must have a script and ready to go. Uh, so I'm going to keep it right here. And I want everybody to see the light show that's getting ready to happen. We've got a good shot of the Burns High School color guard there. And now we're getting ready for the light show. Here it comes, Robbie. The best entrance in high school yeah. football in North Carolina <laughs> right here, folks. If somebody's got a better one, I want to see Absolutely. It. But they're going to wait for their captains to get back. And here it comes. There's the light display brought to you by Contracted Pyrotechnics. And onto the field come the Bulldogs amongst the fire. <laughs> and the fireworks. So, it's the 4th of July in October, and here come the Bulldogs, who are ready to go. And Johnny Johnson carrying the North Carolina flag. Seth Frazier's got the Burns High School flag. I'm telling you, Tom, it is worth the price of admission just to come watch the See that? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's quite an entrance for Burns. So... We're ready to go here from Lawndale, North Carolina, and here come the rest of the Burns Bulldogs. So Jam J's Pizza Factory kickoff coming up. Burns, um, excuse me, East Gaston won the toss, and they elected to receive, which most teams don't do anymore, Robbie. Yeah, very rare to see uh, a team not defer to the second half, but like you said, the Warriors have seen something they want to get started on early here in this game. Yeah, I'm telling you that... Uh, Sometimes you just have your script, Robbie, and if your script's ready to go, you're ready to go. That's what you want to do. And I think that's maybe what uh, East Gaston has in mind. They've probably worked on it all week. This is a huge game for East Gaston. I mean, they're trying, you know, they're, they're probably tired of hearing, oh, it's oh, between absolutely. Burns and Shelby. It's between Burns and Shelby. What about us? You know, what about us? I know that's what they're thinking. And you know what they've also seen on tape is Burns has struggled in their special teams with the kickoff. So they right. figure, well, we get good field position, we strike first. And sometimes, you know, the old Cobra Kai, right? Strike first, strike hard. So now they get their chance. And we talked both of these teams' strength. You know, you look on the offense side of the ball, what they can do offensively, and sometimes your best defense is a great offense. Right. So let's see if they can get on top of Burns. As it's Ethan Guy, I believe, going to kick it off, I think. Is that Guy? I believe it is. Let's see. Not 17 Graham Warley. Graham Warley kicking it off. No, Zach Courier kicks it off, and it's caught at the 25 to the 30. I think that's Cheryl with the football. No, to the 35, 40, all the way to the 50-yard line. That's Jace Rowe bringing it back. And as I said, Robbie, 
he's gassed and set up in good field position. You know, once again, the Bulldogs have got to figure out a way to kind of slow down that special teams play. You're setting up East Gaston with great starting field position here in the game. That's a great return by Jace Rowe, and that brings the football up. Let's see where they mark it. They're going to mark it right at midfield. So short field for this high-powered East Gaston offense. So let's see what they've got. It's Cheryl, the quarterback for the East Gaston Warriors. So let me see if I can get these numbers straight. It usually takes me a quarter or two to get it straight. So first down, man comes in motion, and they're, it's going to yeah. be whistled dead, and a campers in penalty begins the game. I, I tell you what, they, they called off sides on the Bulldogs time, but I thought East Gaston moved before that happened. Let's see what they called. They did call it against Burns. So that's going to cost Burns five and make it first and five. So East Gaston into Burns territory at the 45-yard line, first down and 10. And if you're Burns, you got to be careful, Tom, that you're going to see East Gaston use a lot of motion. Don't don't be caught looking in the backfield as they move guys around. So Cheryl is tall back there, six foot four, and it's going to be a handoff up the middle, and it's going to get about two or three. And that's number 22 with the football, and that is Isaac Brown. So that's what he gave him. Three could be well, maybe two. Yeah, Isaac Brown, a big back back there, six one. So a 6'3", six, 6'4", six, quarterback, a 6'1", running back, that's a pretty good size backfield. They are a pretty, pretty big team. Triple <laughs> wide receivers to the left. As Cheryl's in the gun, sends a man in motion. They go empty, and it looked like he wanted to set up a screen, and he whips it across the middle. Big hit! Oh, and they're going to get it. They're going to get the Juan Jolly with a penalty. I'm not really sure why. Oh, wow. I'm not sure how they're going to get that penalty. I mean, he's making a play on the football. Absolutely. So that's going to cost the Burns Bulldogs 15, and that's going to be a Falston Pharmacy first down for the East Gaston Warriors. Yeah, they're, so they're, they're waving, waving off, off the flag. They are waving off the flag, and that's a good call. As Dewan Jolly, uh, and I got you right that time, Dewan. I know the last time I missed it, and you let me know about it in the hallway. <laughs> But uh, that's a pretty big stick there. Cheryl whipped it across the field, but incomplete. Big so it's going to be an incomplete pass. Big third down play early in this game. Yeah, you wonder, you, might, you know, they may in plus territory take two cracks at it if they don't get it here. As it's, I believe that's 22 in the backfield. And again, that's Isaac Brown, I believe. Yes, it is Isaac Brown. They're checking the plays. Brown's going to shift to the right now. Now he's going to come in motion. Cheryl's back under pressure. Let's it go. Whips it complete. And shedding a couple tacklers. And up to the 32-yard line is number 14, C.J. Helms. Yeah, Helms a nice That's reception a first there for the East Gaston offense. He just sat down in the middle of that zone. Cheryl able to find him. So that's a nine-yard pass. And a first down, the first first down of the game for the Warriors. I'm going to tell you what. This Cheryl kid can sling it. Yeah, great arm. Yeah. From the left side. Looks a little strange, doesn't it? Those yes, left-handers. Yes, and they're going to run it. Brown up the middle. No, did they, they whistle the play dead? And let's see. Wow. And they're going to get Burns again for five more yards. So that's another campers in penalty. And this... Has not started well as both times have had first and five, Robbie. Yeah, you've already given them 10 yards against a really good offense. You, you can't help them out. So first down and five. Cheryl's in the gun, and he'll give it to Brown up the middle, banging his way, banging into tacklers, pushing his way. And he'll have about five yards, and it looks like another false and pharmacy first down. So pretty impressive so far here. Four plays helped by a couple of penalties. And did they give him the first down? Yes. They did. So that's the second first down. Moving quickly. Brown up the middle. This time wrapped up in the middle. And it looked like Wilson and some others wrapped him up. Give him a yard maybe, Robbie. Yeah, good job there by the interior of the Burns defense to shut that down. So Burns has kind of had enough of that up the middle. Did they give him anything? Looks like they gave him a yard, but they didn't move the down marker, Robbie. They still haven't moved the down marker. I guess he's on a union break. Second down, and I, I'm saying it's about eight yards. Yeah. 
And Cheryl's got it. He's back. He steps up. He's being pressured. Westbrook couldn't get him. Now he's rolling out. Going to try to cut it up. Make something out of nothing. Leans forward to the 20. Give him three. Good job downfield by the Burns secondary. It wasn't a good time. A good job of containing Cheryl, as we've talked about. He ha he does have good wheels. So we're going to give him two on that. Third down and close to eight yards. And now Cheryl's going to survey the defense, give some instructions to the wideouts there. And again, it's Brown beside him. Man comes in motion. Cheryl's going to roll to his left, roll to his left. Let it go. Man is there and is caught. And again, that's C.J. Helms. And he'll have it down to the four-yard line. That's a gain of 17 and another Frosted Pharmacy first down. Helms coming up a little gingerly there as he's limping back towards the huddle. It looks like he may have to, yeah, he's going to have to limp over to the sidelines. So hopefully the young man's okay, but I tell you what, he's been crucial. Two catches on this drive for a total of 26 yards. So again, it's Cheryl's going to bring him up to the line inside the red zone all the way to the four-yard line is helped by some penalties and some timely third down throws by Cheryl. And they're going to give it to Brown, and Brown leans forward, give him two. It'll be second down and goal. Seeing these guys in a position where they want to be down there on that goal line now can use that running game. Yeah, they've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten yards on the ground. So they haven't really hit the big run yet, Robbie, but, you know, the two, the two big plays, the conversion on third down to Helms twice. Twice. Yeah. So second down goal, Cheryl's going to try it himself, and he'll be knocked down and still fighting, and he won't get there. Good job. Was, yeah, good, good job. Good job there by the DeBurns defense attacking at the line of scrimmage. Cheryl, we talked about a big quarterback, but a great job there by the Burns front. He was hitting the backfield there, and it was able to lean forward and get back to the line of scrimmage, but now we got a big third down. And this drive, by my calculation, they're two of two on third down, Robbie. They are, absolutely. So see if you can break that streak here. So they've got all a heavy package in here. Extra H back over there to the right. I'm pretty sure that's where the ball's going to go. Brown tries it up the middle. Didn't get there. No, sir. Did not get there. Maybe give him a yard. No, they're going to mark him at the two. No gain. Fourth down and goal. So big one here, fourth down and goal. Early score, Bunker Hill seven, Maiden zero. And what are they going to do? They're going to call a timeout. Yeah, timeout. So we're we're going to take our timeout with them. We'll be right back. There's excitement brewing at Classic Ford Lincoln in Shelby. There's some exciting new models that have arrived. Come see for yourself. Be sure to take a look at the new Ford Bronco Heritage. You're going to love it. Come see the Shelby Cobra 500 GT Mustang and the all-new Mustang Dark Horse, plus many pre-owned vehicles priced at under $10,000. Yes, excitement is the word with these great new models at Classic Ford Lincoln, 1775 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby, online at ClassicFordOfShelby.com. Built upon a solid foundation of cast iron and steel, the Kubota L-Series is part of our under 100 horsepower tractor lineup rated number one for reliability. They feature powerful Kubota diesel engines and easy operation. The durable Kubota L-Series. Talk to your local Kubota dealer today to schedule a demo. Go to KubotaUSA.com for full disclaimer. Your Kubota dealer is part of Farm Service. Located at 126 Bessie Drive on Oak Grove Road at the Highway 74 Bypass in Kings Mountain. Fourth down and goal. Huge play here. East Gaston leaves their offense on the field. They're going for it. Early in this game, Shell's in the gun, claps the hand, tries the right side. He's in for the touchdown. Mm. That's a numbers bookkeeping touchdown for Shell. And on the 11th play of the drive, he's able to punch it in, and it's 6 to nothing, East Gaston on your Wright's Jewelry scoreboard. Once again, we talk about the benefits of having that big quarterback back there, 6-4. Uh, was able to get some penetration on that right side and sneak it into the end zone. That drive was 11 plays, 50 yards, and took five minutes and three seconds off the clock. Extra point for number 30. 
Try to see who that young man is. Drew and Abernathy. Abernathy's kick up. Abernathy's kneeling Cole extra point good. We'll be right back. Jam J's Pizza Factory. We got, off. We got flags on the floor. Hold on. I'm going to stay. Going to keep it right here then. Dead ball offside against <laughs> Burns. You know what? They may move it up a yard and try for two. So we're not going to go anywhere. As, are they going to take the point off the board? Say, are you willing to give up the points? That's... Well, let's see. They're going to move it forward a yard, and I think. So would the. They, they blew it dead. They, had a they blew it dead. Wow. Okay, so from a yard closer, they're going to try the extra point again. Abernathy tries it, and it is almost blocked, but it is good. Neil and Cole extra point good. 7 nothing Warriors. We'll be right back. There's excitement brewing at Classic Ford Lincoln in Shelby. There's some exciting new models that have arrived. Come see for yourself. Be sure to take a look at the new Ford Bronco Heritage. You're going to love it. Come see the Shelby Cobra 500 GT Mustang and the all-new Mustang Dark Horse, plus many pre-owned vehicles priced at under $10,000. Yes, excitement is the word with these great new models at Classic Ford Lincoln, 1775 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby, online at ClassicFordOfShelby.com. Built upon a solid foundation of cast iron and steel, the Kubota L-Series is part of our under 100 horsepower tractor lineup rated number one for reliability. They feature powerful Kubota diesel engines and easy operation. The durable Kubota L-Series. Talk to your local Kubota dealer today to schedule a demo. Go to KubotaUSA.com for full disclaimer. Your Kubota dealer is part of Farm Service, located at 126 Bessie Drive on Oak Grove Road at the Highway 74 Bypass in Kings Mountain. Jam Day's Pizza Factory kickoff coming up. Let them play drive. Cheryl punches it in from two yards away, and Abernathy pops it up, and fair catch. I think he could have brought that back yeah. a little bit, but Burns will take it on their own 29-yard line. Yeah, I think we had a chance for a little bit of a return there. Five or six yards anyway. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it will be at the 29-yard line. For just joining us, Wright's Jewelry scoreboard, 7 to nothing as East Gaston on their first drive punches it in. North Lincoln 7, Fred T. Ford nothing. That's also on your Wright's Jewelry scoreboard. Now, Ben Mooney and company get their first crack at offense. Come out there with th triple wide receivers to the right. One to the left, single back set will be Norris. And I tell you what, Robbie, you need an answer. Absolutely. Yeah, let's see if the Burns offense can respond here. So Mooney in the gun has the ball and handoff. Norris bounces off one tackler, falls forward, gets to about the 30, not much, maybe a gain of a yard. So the three, number three takes it for two yards. And it will be second down and eight. Good job by the left side of the East Gaston defensive line to get a little push there, Robbie. Tell you what, if I'm Burns, if I could figure out a way to attack over the top here, look out. I mean, that, nobody back yeah, there. Yeah, nobody deep for East Gaston. Well, they call that that's zero coverage right Absolutely. there, man. That is zero coverage. There is nobody back. You could sneak somebody out there. Yep. They could run for days. Yep. So it is second down eight, and Mooney's got it. Going to run a little the old-fashioned Speed option, and it's Norris dives forward close to a Faustin Pharmacy first down. He's going to be a little bit short. Give him second, uh, give him seven. It'll be third down and one. So let's see where they spot it. Well, they're going to spot it. Yeah, 30. Gave him seven. Two on the first, seven on the second. So third down and one. Might be taking two cracks at it. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think so. I <laughs> think. We'll see. It looks like they're going to bring in a little extra beef. I like it uh, to the left side, Robbie. Let's see if that's where they go. And that's going to be exactly where. No, he cuts it back, and he's going to be thrown oh, down oh, at the he, line of scrimmage. I tell you what, no I, think I, I think the cutback's what cost him time. He should have stayed up in that hole behind that line. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm keeping my offense on the field. This is a playoff game. Here comes a little bit more size. Yep, yeah. I'm keeping my offense on the field. I got faith in them to get this yard. I tell you, Tom, it still amazes me, especially at the high school level. Nobody goes under center anymore for these kind no, of plays. No, they, they don't. And it's just, you know, the evolution of the game. That's why, you know, every once in a while you watch a game from the 80s, split backs up under center. Mm -hmm. And everybody did it. Timeout. So we'll take it with them. We'll be right back. 
Take your pick on a brand new Bobcat Moore from Weston Sales in Vail. Pick 0% APR financing for 60 months or get an $800 instant rebate. You just take your pick and pick out your new Bobcat Moore. Take a look at a Bobcat ZT2000, $500 instant cash rebate. A Bobcat ZT3000, $700 instant cash rebate. Or the Bobcat ZT3500 with an $800 instant rebate. See them today at Westin Sales, Highway 1827 Intersection in Vail. Online at westinsales.com. Like them on Facebook, too. Well, fourth down, no good as Wilson stopped in the backfield for a three-yard loss, and Burns turns it over on downs. It was great penetration by that defensive front of East Gaston. and they were ready there at the point of attack. So things not going well for the Bulldogs. They give up a touchdown on their first possession, turn it over on downs on their second possession, and with 5.27 left to go in the first quarter, East Gaston is going to take it on the Burns 36-yard line. So just, uh, you couldn't have scripted it any worse for the Bulldogs, Robbie. Absolutely. Great field position. They've got the ball back up 7 nothing already. So Cheryl's in the gun, sends Brown in motion. He's going to be a little, little counter play. Bounces off a tackler. He's going to go in for a touchdown. He bounced off a tackler and then dashes to the end zone, and that's number 20, and that is Caleb Smith. So bing, bang, boom, just like that, it's 13 nothing. And you had, and Tom, you had him, you know, stop maybe for a loss, but you just could not wrap him up in the backfield, and he's able to break loose, come back around that left side. So on your Wright's Jewelry scoreboard, it's 13 to nothing, and Burns had better wake up. You know, the fun's over. This East Gaston team has come ready to play, and they look hungry tonight, so Burns has got to come up with an answer. Yeah, you got to respond now for sure. So Abernathy in for the Neelan Cole extra point after the numbers bookkeeping touchdown. Snap is back, down, kick up, kick good. 14-0 Warriors, we'll be right back. Trusted, tried, and true. Those three words represent the highest standards for the Kawasaki Mule side-by-side. Trusted means being built strong and built to last. It means being put to the test by hardworking people doing the toughest jobs. True means staying authentic to the roots that run 30 years deep. Kawasaki Mule, the definition of trusted, tried, and true. See the Kawasaki Mule at Bull Throttle Power Sports. 101 Indian Walk in Lowell. How would you like a new heat and an air conditioning system for just $85 a month? Of course you would. And you can have it today by calling Bill Shuford Heat and an Air in Shelby. Get a new American Standard heated and air conditioning system for as low as $85 per month for qualified buyers on qualified systems. American Standard is number one in reliability. And they service all brands. Bill Shuford Heated and Air. 213 Campbell Street in Shelby. Online at BillShufordHVAC.com. Call 704-484-0025. We're back. And just like that, you know, it's a one play. It took nine seconds. 36-yard touchdown by number 20. We'll get that young man's name again, uh, Caleb Smith. And just like that, it's 14-0 Warriors on your right to scoreboard. Jim J's Pizza Factory kickoff popped up, fumbled, and fell on. Thank goodness, I think Burns fell back on it as that would have really spelled disaster, Robbie. And I tell you, Tom, looking at this game right now, it, uh, it's all about that field position. I think he's casting has gone a total of 80, about 80 yards and got 14 points out of it. Yeah, they haven't had to go very far after the fourth down. I like to call on fourth down, but it was just, you know, a good defensive play by the East Caston Warriors. You got to give them credit. And now Burns is going to take it on their own 35 with 5.18 or 5.15 left to go. And just, just the first quarter, they find themselves down quickly two scores. So Mooney's in the gun. Let's see if he's going to put it up. Snap his back. And play action. He's got time. Now he's running out of time. Now he lets it go. Man's wide open. Caught. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. That's a 
that's a numbers bookkeeping touchdown. I'm not sure who got it. Is that Surratt? Is that Surratt? I believe it was. Kenyon Surratt. As he broke open down the left side, no flags, Robbie. Tom, what did I tell you? Once you got the athlete into that secondary, they had nobody back deep. A great pass play there from Moody to get the Bulldogs on the scoreboard. So that is a 64-yard touchdown by Surratt Blast, number 16. And now we're going to have Drew Dixon in for the extra point. The Neyland Cole extra point. And I tell you what, Mooney, great patience to roll out and wait for that thing to open up. Snap back, kick up. What do you know? An extra point for the Bulldogs. It's 14 to 7. We'll be right back. It's the all new Nissan of Shelby, where they do the right thing. First time, every time. Nissan of Shelby now has new management, plus a big new inventory with new prices, giving you a whole new customer experience. Check their amazing lineup. Nissan Rogues and Baranos, and trucks like the Nissan Frontier and Titan, plus a wide range of pre-owned vehicles with special rates and pricing. Come to the all-new Nissan of Shelby, 631 South Post Road, right off Highway 7 for Eastern Shelby, online at nissanofshelby.com. Jumpin' Jed's in the heart of downtown Boston wants to wish the Burns Bulldogs the best of luck this season. Stop in for country, primitive, and farmhouse home decor. Also, Amish-made furniture, quilts, baskets, and more, along with Amish-made jams, jellies, sauces, and butters, plus Billy Jacob prints and Smoky Mountain soap. See the local artisan woodwork, pottery, jewelry, braided rugs, plus Hershey's ice cream in cups, cones, shakes, or floats. Jumba Jed's in the heart of downtown Boston, open 10 to 6, Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 4 on Saturday. Like them on Facebook, too. All right, we're back. Uh, Terry Reinhardt, thanks for the scores. Lincoln in 14, East Burst 6. Going to get some more. Jam Jay's Pizza Factory kickoff spins down. It's taken at the 12, slips down, and finally Burns flips the field, Robbie. Yeah, finally going to have to see East Gaston go the, pretty much the length of the field here. So a good kick there. Got it down in the mo no man's land, and luckily it didn't go out of bounds. So. Well, Targon High Brighton, seven apiece. Bunker Hill, 14. Maiden, zero. North Lincoln, seven. Fred T. Ford, zero. So those are scores brought to you by Terry Reinhardt. Thank you, Terry. Glad you're actually doing some work. <laughs> so it is first down and 10 from the 13. And let's see if on what East Gaston's able to do now they have unfavorable field position. I'll tell you what, hadn't bothered them so far as far as offensive production. As Cheryl's going to hand it off. And it looks like ball's on the ground, and Cheryl's able to get it. Ooh, lucky he's seen it. Dangerous, dangerous situation there. That's going to go in the books as a three-yard loss on a rushing play. But I'll tell you what, dangerous, dangerous there. And Tom, it just shows you, you you're just a little more antsy when you're deep in your own territory like this. Yeah, it, 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 you're exactly right. And, uh, okay, and it is now second down and 13, so first time East Gaston's been behind the sticks, Robbie. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see if Burns can get some more pressure up front here. So Cheryl in the gun again. And he's got it. Play action. Throws it out in the flat. Up in the air. Almost oh, intercepted. Oh, oh. As it was deflected and incomplete. And I'll tell you what, East Gaston better be careful down here, Robbie. And I tell you, Tom, I'm worried here. I'm scared the Burns Bulldog player got called as the second guy involved in an instant. Let's see what the call is. Flags on the field. Oh, no. Let's see what they call. And they're going to let him out of jail if they get a 15-yard penalty. And... Burns backing up, unsportsmanlike. And unsportsmanlike all offsetting. Good, offsetting. So that campers in penalty offsets. And I'm, I'm glad they seen the first part of that. I was scared the Burns guy was going to get caught as the second guy. In a game this big, you can't do it, Rob. That's right. You just can't. Do Absolutely. It. The game is too big. So, third down, 13. And I'll tell you what, is 14 on the field? Let's see if 14's on the field. I don't see him out there. But C.J. Helms has been clutch. He two, sure has. Two receptions on third down. But we did see him limp off after that one yeah, catch. Hopefully so. he's okay. 
Cheryl in the gun, gonna roll, it's gonna be a five yard penalty, campers in penalty, procedure against East Guest, and that's their first penalty of the night. That's gonna make it third down and 18, and now you need to be real careful, Robbie. Yeah, again, uh, you know, a big opportunity here for the Bulldogs to get off the field here and get yourself in great field position. But don't play hero ball here. Keep them in That's front. That's right, absolutely. Keep them in front. Don't play hero ball here and try to make a, a dramatic interception. Just get them down in front of the sticks, and they're going to have to punt deep in their own end. Third down, 18, and they're going to keep it with Cheryl, and Cheryl's trying to get the corner and does. Takes a hit on, I tell you what, he's a huge kid. He gets nailed out of bounds. I tell you what, I don't want my quarterback taking many hits like that. That's but exactly you, right. He's almost got a first down. <coughs> he's all the way out to the it's be one, two yards short, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, it was third down and 18. He gets 14 yards. So a run of 14, but still the East Cast and punny. I might let Cheryl carry it again. Thank you what? That was fourth down, but I'm, I'm like you, Tom, though. I don't know if I want my quarterback taking that many big hits. Who had that big stick, Joe? Did you see? Who was that? Yeah. 15. Ethan Guy just laid the wood to him, rattled his feelings a little bit, but Burns is going to get the ball in favorable field position. Better play safe, though. No, no fake. Here comes the punt. And it's going to be caught and makes a man miss his Surratt. Going to work his way back to the left. Still on his feet. Cuts through. Still on his feet. Spin move. Still on his feet. 40. 45. Takes a big stick, but he's all the way down to the 36-yard line. First down and 10 for the Bulldogs, Robbie. What a return there. Sitting Burns up with great starting field position as they're trying to tie this game up. So Burns will take it with 3.36 left to go in the first quarter after they were quickly down two scores. They're gonna get it on their own 36 yard, uh, on the East Gaston 36. So let's see if they what they can do with this possession as a three and out there, the first time that East Gaston has been stopped and mainly you know, East Gaston stopped themselves. Yeah, some, some bad mistakes deep in their own territory. So it's first down and 10, but like you say, Robbie, it puts more pressure on you. Mm -hmm, I'll tell absolutely. you, it puts a lot more pressure on you. Let's see if Burns can answer another touchdown. Mooney's got it, drops back, running out of time, sheds a tackler across his body, caught! 25, 20, makes a man miss. Stiff arm all the way down to the 13-yard line. That's Surratt again. I just love what Burns can do once they get the ball down the field, get those athletes with the ball in their hand, they can make things happen. So what would you give them on that, Joe? So Kenyon Surratt takes it to the 13-yard th uh, line. What would you give him? 22-yard pass play. And another Faustin Pharmacy first down as Burns now inside the red zone. Say Mooney's got it in the gun, speed option, flips it out to Norris. He's still behind the sticks, but now he's gonna get positive yardage, and a flag comes in. That's a camper's in penalty, thrown by the back judge, you know what that means. Absolutely. So let's see what the call is. My first guess would be holding against Burns as Mooney looks upset, that's probably what the call is. I got some old school speed option going on there. Don't yeah, they? a little different yeah. there. I like it. Let's see here. And they've got holding against Burns. So that's going to back them up 10. Depends on where the hold was from. Well, they're going to they're gonna give him 10-yard penalty, and that is going to make it first down and 20. Had a chance to see an official show his arm off last night. He launched one from about 20 yards away. He hit a far street player right in the back of the helmet. Did he? <laughs> they say, I remember when a guy for the Browns got hit in the face, almost put his eye out, and he pushed the ref down. It was ugly. Far street kids trying to figure out what it was, but yeah. they caught him in the back of the head. Yeah. First down, 20. And Mooney's in the shotgun. Man goes in motion. Mooney's got it, got time. Now running out of time, now scrambling. Extending the play, lets it go. Norris got it. 10, 5, numbers, bookkeeping, touchdown. The second time Ben Mooney has extended a play, and it ends up in a touchdown, Robbie. And I tell you what, you talk about what an athlete Jeremiah Norris is. He can run with the football. He can get down the field, make the catch. We're seeing the athletes for the Bulldogs do what they do right now. So that makes it 13. 
to 14, pending the Neal and Cole extra point. And I tell you what, Mooney is putting on a show. He was our Whitetail Properties mm -hmm. player to watch for a reason. And now we've got Drew Dixon, number 27, in for the extra point. Bad snap, and it gets beyond, and Dixon's just going to have to fall on it. So no extra point. So we'll remain 14 to 13. We'll be right back. It's time to power up. Power up with Gag Power Equipment powered by Vanguard from Ellie's Supply Company in Polkville. The Vanguard is now available on the Skag Tiger Cat and the Skag Patriot models. See the Skag Tiger Cat 52 inch mower with Vanguard 810cc 28 horsepower EFI engine or the Skag Patriot available in 52 and 61 inch cuts with the Vanguard 810cc 26 horsepower engines. Power up with the Skag from LA Supply Company, Highway 182 in Polkville, online at lasupplyinc.com. Hey, Bulldog fans, it's Jennifer here from Wright's Jewelry in Boston. We are your number one shop for all of your jewelry and gift giving needs. Our showcases are full of plastic and fashion board designs. I do have to say they're pretty incredible as I pick them up myself. Don't forget to come see me for all of your custom designs and engagement ring needs. Visit us, 4911 Boston Road, Boston. Shop us 24-7 online and follow us on social media, Right Story Store. All right, the PAT no good, but Burns strikes back 13 to 14, East Gaston ahead, and they're going to return the kickoff, and not for much there at the 30-yard line. Yeah, much better job of getting down on coverage there, even on that short kick for the Bulldogs. Yeah, I mean, if you make them go 70 yards, it's a lot easier than you know, 45 or 50. So the Burns defense did hold, and as I said, you know, you had the fumble on first down, you had the penalty. You know, and he almost had the interception, so it was Burns and East Gaston both stopping East Gaston on the last drive. So let's see if East Gaston has a cleaner possession this time. Once again, Rice Jewelry scoreboard, 14 to 13. As if we've already had four touchdowns. We're not even out of the first quarter. Four down linemen for Burns. Cheryl pumps the foot, now gonna try the middle stacked up, but I tell you, running hard. Got a yard when he probably should have lost two. So that is going to bring up second down and nine. Who was the ball carrier there? 22. 22, the ball carrier. So he runs it for a yard. And there's sideline Zach, getting you a good view of the action down there. Clock will finally run a little bit. And it is 157 left to go in the first quarter. A lot of action here if you like offense. Terry Reinhardt would not like this game. <laughs> Second down nine. Cheryl back has time. Fires. And oh, oh, out of the hands of Xavier Wilson. He had it right in the bread basket. Just couldn't hold it. That was a pick six waiting to happen right there. He just couldn't hold on to the football. Oh, my goodness. He'll be seeing that one when he lays down tonight. Unfortunately, could not hang on to it. But third down and nine. And there's C.J. Helms. Glad to see that young man back in the game. Yes. And because uh, he's a gamer. So I'm just going to tell you, it's third down. You better know where 14 is. And Cheryl's wanting him to do something. Yeah, he's hollering, he's at, hollering him. at him. That's right. <laughs> so three wide receivers in for the Warriors. Cheryl's got it. He'll roll. He'll roll. Extending the play. Still rolling. Let's it go. Overshot his man. And guess who he's looking for? Helms. Yes, sure was. So incomplete. And the second straight three and out. So after East Gaston has two straight touchdown drives, they go three and out twice. Terry Reinhardt sending us some scores. Robbie, you got them? Yeah, we got them. Okay. We got uh, West Lincoln 15, West Caldwell nothing. Cheryl will slip seven to six over Jefferson. Shelby 30 to nothing on Bessemer City. Lincoln over East Burke 14 to six. Bandy's leads Newton Conn over seven to six. Bunker Hill leads Maiden fourteen to nothing. Brevard fifteen to nothing over Patton. And the punt, I think that's Abernathy. Has plenty of time. Knuckle ball, pretty high, pretty good kick. Rolls, rolls all the way down to the twenty-seven. Good special teams play. So give him nineteen plus twenty-three. 
That's a 42-yard kick with no return. Hickory 37-7 over West Iredale. North Lincoln over Ford 7-0. Ash County and Highbrighton tied at 7. Inca 12-7 over North Buncombe. T.C. Roberson 13-0 over Irwin. Allegheny leads Elkins 7-0. Robbinsville leads Andrews 14-0. Pine Lake Prep over Carver 34-22. Mitchell Mountain Heritage tied at 7. And Star Mount leads East Wilkes 19-0. Thank you, Robbie. Here it's 14 to 13 on your right jewelry scoreboard. You're listening to Burns Football, brought to you by West End Sales. Four wide receivers in for Burns as Mooney's in the gun again, and Norris, the setback beside him to his right. Mooney's got the ball. He's going to roll to his right. He's going to keep rolling to his right. He's going to let it go. Got a man tiptoes the sideline. It's Graham Warlick. He hauls it in up to the 41-yard line. Gain of three. Falston Pharmacy first down. Good job by Warlick there to hold the sidelines, making the catch. I tell you what, that was a great job, wasn't it? What about Mooney extending these plays, though? Throwing all the run. Yes. Again, seeing the growth of him as a quarterback. So Mooney in the gun again with now looks more like a little pistol set, doesn't it, Robbie? Mm-hmm. He's got him behind yes. him. Three wide receivers to the left. Mooney drops the football. Did they get back on it? They better have, and I think they do. And who recovered it? I think Norris yeah, I think did. Yeah, Norris got on it. So that's going to go in the book as a loss of three, and it'll be second and 13. Very fortunate there. Give a shout-out to R.J. Root down on the field tonight, getting the Twitter highlights, so you can check those out on the Red Zone and channel on YouTube. Sideline Zach, who's pretty far away from the action there, so we'll bring it up here. If we get closer, we'll view some of those shots. So minus three for Burns, and those can be drive killers. Let's see if Burns is able to respond. So 14 seconds left to go. They do have to run the play, and they do. Mooney's got it. Fire, slant, Warwick got it. 50, drops the football, and got it back. I tell you what, he's got a rabbit's foot with him tonight because that ball bounced right back up into his bread basket. That was a catch and a fumble. And advances it to the 41-yard line. So 13 plus 9, 21 yards. That's going to be the end of the quarter. So we're going to be right back. It's truck season at Marburger Chevrolet in Shelby. Come sit the new 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 Crew Cab RST. Get 0% APR financing for well-qualified buyers, plus no monthly payments for 90 days when you finance with GM Financial. Plus get a $750 cash allowance. Or make every day a getaway with the new 2023 Chevy Equinox. Get 2.1% APR financing for well-qualified buyers or take $1,250 cash allowance. Get yours today at Barberger Chevrolet, 200 West Dixon Boulevard, Shelby. Attention home buyers. Call Nelon Coal Termite and Pest Control before purchasing your new home to avoid getting stuck with extensive damage, typically not covered by homeowner's insurance. Neline Coal Termite and Pest Control will inspect your home for prior or present wood destroying insects and moisture. Call Neline Coal Termite and Pest Control today to schedule your free estimate at 1 800 the number 7 the web and receive $25 off any new service from Neline Coal Termite and Pest Control. We're back. Wild first quarter comes to an end, and what a wild play to end the quarter. I'm going to tell you, I was watching Graham as he came to the sidelines. I think I understood why he dropped the football as, as men in the press box. You don't want to take the shot he took. Oh, and I'll no. leave it at that. Oh, yes, <laughs> I know. So it is two wide receivers right, two to the left. Mooney's in the gun again. He's got it. Back. Let's it go over the middle. Man's out there. He's open. He's got it. Touchdown. So who is that? Can't see the number. That's a 41-yard touchdown. That's 18. And that's Goosby on the touchdown. So number 18 with a pass reception of 41 yards for the touchdown, Robbie. Once again, Tom, I told you, once those guys are getting on the back side of that defense, there's just nobody back there for East Gaston that could stop them. Yeah, that's an interesting selection. Hey, a swinging gate here, Tom. They're going to try to get it back. So with 123 plus 9 seconds, that one only takes 1 minute and 32 seconds. 
and uh, they're going to try to get it back. I, I don't know. I, I just wouldn't give up on the PAT just yet. Find, you find yourself chasing points. And yeah, we're going to take a timeout, so we'll take it with them. We'll be right back. Leaves have already started to fall. Are you ready for leaf season this year? Get ready with a stop in at Hojo Power Sports in Shelby and take a look at a leaf sucking machine. That's the Walker Mower, famous for leaf pickup for residential or commercial lawns. With a walker, your yard will look clean and fresh. Plus, you'll find blowers by Husvarna, Red Max, Shadawa, and DeWalt. Make leaf season easy this year with a new walker mower from Hojo Power Sports. 110 Greg Street, off South Lafayette Street in Shelby, online at hojopower.net. The baby chicks are in at Parker. Family feed in Bellwood. Come get your baby chicks now. They also have rabbits too, and they carry all of your pet and livestock food. Check out line of porch swings, and they have fall decorations including pumpkins, big beautiful mums, and bales of straw. Get your rye grass, Kentucky 31 grass seed, lime, and fertilizer at Parker Family Feed, 121 Carpenters Grove Church Road, off Highway 18 North in Bellwood. Like them on Facebook too. If you need fireworks for your event, then call on Contracted Power Tech. Yeah, sorry, hit the wrong one. We're back. Neil and Cole, two-point conversion coming up. And Mooney's got it. Going to roll, going to roll. Just keeping the play alive. Back of the oh, end zone. Caught! Wow. Two-point conversion. Good. See who caught it. Was that 16 again? Johnny Johnson. Johnny Johnson. With a reception. So we'll be right back. If you need fireworks for your event, then call on Contracted Pyrotechnics and talk with Dustin Ledford today. They are the bomb. Dustin is a graduate of Burns High School and supplies all the fireworks at the Burns High School football games. If your town or organization needs fireworks, call Dustin Ledford today at 704-473-1996. That's 704-473-1996. Have a party, have a blast. Contracted Pyrotechnics. It's truck season at Marburger Chevrolet in Shelby. Come see the new 2023 Chevy Silverado Fit Cab RST. Get 0% APR financing for well-qualified buyers, plus no monthly payments for 90 days when you finance with GM Financial. Plus get a $750 cash allowance. Or make every day a getaway with the new 2023 Chevy Equinox. Get 2.1% APR financing for well-qualified buyers or take $1,250 cash allowance. Get yours today at Marburger Chevrolet, 200 West Dixon Boulevard, Shelby. Jim J's Pizza Factory kickoff. We fielded at the 25, brought back 30, 35, good return, and he's free. 50, going to have to make a tackle. Great tackle there. Outstanding tackle by Jeremiah Norris. But especially Saved the touchdown as that was number two, Jace Rowe. He was able to shed the yes. blocker too. That was even bigger. There was a blocker with him, and Jeremiah was able to shed him and still make the tackle and save that. Wow, that was an outstanding special teams play. But nonetheless, East Gaston's going to get it on the Burns 41. So you Burns three straight touchdowns. You got all the momentum. Now you open the door right back for the Warriors. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to try to grab that momentum back now with great starting field position, see if Burns can continue to put that pressure on the backfield. So I've seen that kickoff improve over. That's going to be a point of emphasis moving forward with the, you know, the playoffs coming up. Two wide receivers left, one to the right, and Cheryl's going to hand it off. Brown picks his way and fights off a tackle, almost broke it, and then he's hit hard by by Xavion Wilson, but I'm not sure what the flag yeah, what's is the, What's for? the flag for that? He didn't take off his helmet. His helmet popped off. Where is it going to spot the ball? So that was 22 with a run. How? I mean, what, they give him 10 yards on the run? Wow. Oh, my goodness. That's a camper's end penalty against the Bulldogs. Unsportsmanlike conduct. So that's going to move it all the way down. Look at this, Robbie, all yes. the way down. Well, how's it to the 14? Supposed to be half the distance. Unless it was at the 28. What'd you give him on the run, Joe? 10 on the run, 15 on the Well, I gave him 10 on the run, and, you know, if it's 15, it's not supposed to be, you know, well, I guess. 
I, I think it was supposed to be at the 16-yard line. I think they got it spotted wrong. It's supposed to be at the 16-yard line. It was at the 31. They moved it to them. Well, okay, whatever. So Cheryl's got it. He's pump fakes. He's going to take, tuck, and run. He's got room, and dragging tackler still on his feet. Good power run there. He'll get it to the eight-yard line, gain of six. And again, we see how tough he is to bring down when he decides to run with the football. I'll tell you what, man, you, you, you nailed it when you said the short field makes it so much it easier does. to play. Yeah, you, you play with more confidence on the short field. So it is second down and four. I'll tell you what, he's taking some shots, though. Mm -hmm. He's a big kid, though. Looks like a little gimpy there. I think he's okay. And I'd be, uh, it's 14 on the field. I don't see him here. I'd be looking for him in this situation as quick throw out in the flat and knocked to the ground quickly is number two. And Wilson with a tackle is Jace Rowe, who's been doing a good job on special teams. Is knocked down at the six. Gain of two, third down two, Robbie. It's a big play here for the Burns defense. You're right, it is a big play for the Burns defense. As it's third down and two, I don't know if they're gonna let Abernathy kick a field goal or they're gonna, you know, you're third down and two, the way you run the ball, you think you're gonna take two cracks yeah, at it. two shots. If you don't get it here, three wide receivers in for, uh, for East Gaston. That's Brown as the single back set. Cheryl gives it to Brown. Brown breaks a tackle and he's in for the touchdown. So that's a six yard TD run by Brown and now they're an extra point away, Robbie. But again, Tom, we, we've seen East Gaston score on these short fields. When you're making them drive the field, they're just not as successful. So Burns has got to figure a way to tighten that up and not give up those big return yards. So poor plays, a buck 47 off the clock. Most of the damage done on the ground and by the penalty, which really hurt as well, Robbie. At the time I told you before we went on there, maybe a 56-49 type game in yeah. the first half. Yeah. <laughs> and Abernathy's kneeling cold extra point is good. Four, the 21 all on your right Jewelry scoreboard. We'll be right back. Drivers, start your engines! Start your engine of savings at Camper's Inn in Kings Mountain. Race on in now during the Camper's Inn 500. Over 500 units have been discounted for year-end savings. It's the best time of the year to buy. Don't make a pit stop elsewhere. Head to the finish line of savings at Camper's Inn in Kings Mountain during the Camper's Inn 500. Camper's Inn, 615 South Broadway off Highway 161 South at I-85 in Kings Mountain. Online at Camper's Inn backslash kingsmountain.com. Like them on Facebook too. Today, having choices at the end of life's journey is more important than ever. Choosing the proper way to honor a loved one is not an easy task. There are many emotional, personal, and spiritual issues to consider. Now there is a new alternative to traditional burial and flame-based cremation. Fidel's Aquamation is a water-based natural process that gently returns your loved one's remains to their natural ash form. Learn more at stamytysigerfuteralhome.com or drop by their offices in Falston and in Cherryville. Jim J's Pizza Factory kickoff. Oh, Feeling about Ward like I think he fell down. Yeah, he fell down with it. So Burns will take it on their own 25 with 10.02 left to go in the second quarter. Wright's Jewelry scoreboard, 21 apiece. You're listening to Burns Football brought to you by West End Sales. And I'll tell you what, Robbie, we've already had six touchdowns. We're two minutes mm -hmm. into the second quarter. Shelby leads Bessemer City 44 to nothing. 38 seconds left in the first half of that one. I thought Bessemer City would put up a little bit better game there. But you know what? It gets to the end of the season. You had to play East Gaston. You had to play mm. Burns. Now you're playing. You're getting wore down, man. So let's see if Mooney can answer. Again, double wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Mooney's in the gun. He's got it. He's rolling. He's under pressure, still trying to extend the play, and he's going to run out of real estate and throw it away. Johnny Johnson caught it, but about five yards out of bounds. Incomplete pass, and it is second and ten. And Burns has kind of gone away a little bit from the ground game here. Yeah, again, the attack he's casting down the field. If, if Burns can show the continue to attack that way, Tom, completing those passes, it's going to force these guys to have to drop some more guys back in the right. coverage and then, I think, open that run game back right. up. 
So it is second down and 10 after, at, after the incomplete pass. And look at that, they got a safety back now, Robbie. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> that didn't last too long, did it? So second down, 10. Mooney is going to give it to Norris. He'll try the right side, drug down, no gain. Lost one. It's a good job there by the left side of that East Gaston defense. I'll tell you what, it does make you a little nervous when you're two things. One, you can't run the ball. Two, you're having a hard time stopping the mm -hmm. run. So they give him no gain, right? Yeah, yeah, back to the line of scrimmage. So Jackie's home listening. Thank you, Jackie, for listening. She's dog sitting tonight. So third down, 10. And they've been able to convert some big pass, pass plays here, but I tell you what, you don't want to go three and out after an East Casting score. So Mooney's in the gun again. He's got it. He's back. Got a little time. Now running out of time. And he lets it go. Man's out there. And uh, there were two guys in the same area. So Rat and Warlick, and it falls incomplete. Yeah, I wonder, Tom, if one of those guys had peeled off and let the other one catch it. It yeah. might have been. Mm. But instead, that's the first time Burns goes three and out. Well, they went four and out on the first possession. And there they go, three and out. They're going to punt Johnny Johnson into punt. So not a good sequence there for Burns on offense, Robbie. And he's guessing he's going to have good field position again, I'm afraid, to start another drive. We talk about a game of momentum, and this game has certainly been that way. Started with East Gaston, back to Burns. Now that momentum kind of shifting back to the Warriors. So Johnny Johnson's punt, and he's able to get a towering punt. And that bounces, and it's going to come dead at the 37-yard line. So good punt. Give him 15 plus 13, 18, 38 yards, no return, but the powerful East Gaston offense back on the field, Robbie. Yeah, tied at 21. See if the Bulldogs can slow it down here, get the ball back, maybe flip this field a little bit. Yeah, they have forced a couple of three and outs. So we've got uh, some more scores. Bucker Hill 14, Maiden 9. And North Lincoln 36, Ford 7. Ford having a hard time, Robbie. Yeah, tough, tough up there for the yeah. Blue Bengals. Yep. So it is 8.48 left to go, and Cheryl's in the gun, and nice little play action, keeps it himself, and takes another hit, and he slammed to the ground. He'll get about three, second down seven. Yeah, again, we see this offense for East Gaston. Uh, we, again, we talked about the number of guys they get involved. They do so much with the football, a lot of movement. Uh, you just got you know, to know who you got, where they're going to be. Good job there by Cheryl to keep the football making that read. Yeah, but he gets three, almost four yards. I'm going to give him four on that. Second down and six. As we said, Burns front. Got to stop the run. Here it comes again. Here comes Brown powering his way. Not much that time. Good job by the Bulldog front. No gain. Yeah, back to the line of scrimmage there. So eventually you got to man up, don't you, Robbie? Absolutely. He's got to stop that run. And it is. I'm telling you, man, it's a test of your manhood. When that other team's running the football downhill, there's going to be some collisions. And that East Gaston line's got some good size I'm on the team. Yep, so. yep, yep. 77. Look at that guy. He's a walking. That's, he's a walking coke machine. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's big Johnny Brown, six four. And Cheryl's got it. He's back. He's looking, and he's in trouble. And he somehow escapes. He was a Harry Houdini there, and he'll have a first down. Wow. I mean, that is Amazing. just an outstanding play by Cheryl. And you just got to give him credit. He disappeared into the blue shirts. And the ball's going to be spotted at the 47. Give him six and a Faustin Pharmacy first down. Like you said, I, th I thought they had him, and, and he was able to score it out of there. And, and like you said, Tom, sometimes you just got to shake a guy's hand and say good play. I'm just Sometimes the guy just did better than you. You're right, Robbie, and that's just tough. It's, I tell you what, Cheryl can take a licking and keep on ticking, man. He's taking some hits. 7.05 and counting. First down for East Gaston from the Burns, excuse me, from their own 47. And it's going to be a run 
and gain of about two or three, and again, that's 20, that's Caleb Smith. Give him four, almost five, Robbie. Yeah, nearly five on that run. Smith went into the hole low and stayed there. Yeah, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to stop that run. If you're able to get four or five yards on first down every play, Robbie, it's... It's a long night, Tom, if that's going on. It gets a lot easier to play offense, man. So again, four down uh, front, four man front for Burns. And Cheryl working pretty quickly. It's Brown, play act. No, it's gonna be a little, oh my gosh, she flipped up in the air, did Cheryl. It was a little read option, but give him seven, eight yards and another Falston Pharmacy first down. Yeah, we talk a great job behind the football. Cheryl was able to do that there, put the ball into his running back's belly, pulled it back out and went back around to that left side with it. I'm telling you, he got, he got flipped. I'm telling you, man, he just keeps he getting did. back up, man. Yeah, I guess we'll start calling him time, X. Like you said, it takes I'm a lead. I'm ticking. telling you, man, he's really taking some hits. And I'll tell you what, he's got good speed. 21-21, your score on your right story scoreboard. You're listening to Burns Football, brought to you by West End Sales. Double wide receivers to the right. And look like East Gaston moved early. It's going to be a little jet sweep, and Xavion Wilson and some others there say no way, no gain for number 20 that time. Yeah, good job not letting him turn the ball upfield there by that Burns defense. And 20 again, that's Caleb Smith. No gain. So the ball's right back there on the 41, and I tell you what, they probably had a little bit more success in the more... Stuff that's designed for straight ahead, or at least off that option, you know. That's where they've had the most success. I wouldn't have gone away from that. Second down, 10. As Cheryl's in the gun, and he'll roll to his left, roll to his left, let it go. Man's there, broken up. As that's going to be a pass breakup for Surratt as he timed it perfectly, Robbie. Yeah, like you said, a good job there just knocking the football down. Didn't try to make the, the big play. He just took care of business. Hero ball. I mean, it's, you know, you got to, in a game like this, you don't need hero ball That's at right. this point. Yep, get him, get him at third and 10 instead of letting it score it through your hands trying to get an interception. Now, if, if you're the East Gaston coaching staff, you got to be thinking two plays here. Yeah, I think, I, mean, I, I think I'm two plays for a yeah, first down. I mean, down. you got to have two plays here. So if they don't get it here, they may be trying to get just a little something here and then go for again. And Cheryl, that's wide open. He's got it wide open to the left side. And he's submarine to see where they put it down. They're going to give him the first down. Oh, man, that's a generous spot. It is. But they're going to give him the first down. Nope, they're not. I stand corrected. So they're going to give him a run of nine. Oh, they gave him the now first. Now they're going to huh? give him the first down. All right. Well, they put wow. fourth down, but I thought he was down about a yard in I front of too. it. They gave him exactly 10 yards, and I tell you what, Cheryl is really doing the damage. They, they spotted him where he rolled to, not where the tackle was made. Yeah, that's what I thought. But every once in a while, the ball bounces your way. First down and 10. And Cheryl's in the gun again. Helms comes in motion, and they're going to give it. I think that's that's is that 20. And that's Smith again, and he'll get see that Robbie four yards every yeah. time. Yeah, using yeah, again bringing that man in motion, a lot of window dressing in the backfield. Yeah, they're going to give him five. So that first down run for East Gaston, for the most part, has been very effective, especially on this drive. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, they took it with 8.48. They're about to keep the ball almost five minutes, very similar to their first drive. Yeah, the drive. first drive, absolutely. So second down, five. And Cheryl now taking his time. And he's got the snap, and it's going to be blown dead, and that's going to be offside against Burns again. So that campers in penalty is going to be close to another first down. That's the third offside call against Burns. Fourth, if you count the one on the PAT. And it's first down. Yeah, no for a first. That's four first downs. And I tell you what, the Warriors have looked good on this drive. 21-21, but the Warriors threatening. They're on the 21-yard line. 
So first down, 10. And Cheryl's in the gun. And man goes in motion. They're going to empty it out for him, and they're going to throw it out in the flat. It's Brown, and he makes a man miss, but dragged down. He's still got about, what, give him about three. It'll be second down and seven, maybe four yards. Yeah, Isaac Brown just has been everything they needed him to be out of the backfield tonight. Still a good game. That's four yards on first down. And that's been their recipe for success on this drive, Robbie. Yeah. Four or five yards on every first down. Yeah, staying ahead of the chains on that first down play is huge. So it's second down and five. And if you're Burns, you need a, you need a tackle behind the sticks. Yes. You need, you need a big play here. As Cheryl's now in the gun again, giving some instructions to the two wide outs to the left. And the snap is back, and it's going to be Brown, and he's going to be stoned at the line of scrimmage and then finished off. And, I, and there's a bulldog down. And that's Marshall. We're going to step away for one, for one minute. We'll be right back. Buying a home can seem like a daunting task, but it's really not with Homestar Financial. With a short phone call, we can get you pre-approved. Once pre-approved, you're free to shop for the home of your dreams. At Homestar Financial, we can tell you the price or payment range that you qualify for. Your realtor will appreciate that you took the time to get pre-approved. So call me today. Let's make buying a home a dream come true. With Homestar Financial, it's quick and easy with no surprises at closing. Call today. Shelby's Car Quest Parts Store is Shelby Auto Plus Car Quest. Locally owned and operated. See Charles and Beth Cabotas, Latham Queen, and Lisa McKinney for all of your auto parts needs. And Shelby Auto Plus Car Quest is your hydraulic hose headquarters. Also fittings to custom made hoses. They want to help you with all of your automotive parts needs. Shelby Auto Plus Car Quest, 409 North Washington Street in Shelby. Give them a call today at 704-482-2468, your Car Quest Auto Parts store. Marshall McGowan shaking up, but looks to be okay. And I tell you what, he's critical for the Bulldogs. Yes, not only tonight, but I mean the rest of this season. Any yeah. any plans down the road, you got to have him out there. Yeah. So they've got a loss on the play, and I think it's Goodson in for him at middle linebacker. Huge third down and six. As Cheryl's in the gun again, he claps the hands. He's going to keep it himself. Throws it. It was just mistimed. Yeah, the timing was off. Yeah. They actually had a guy that could have been there. but So what do you do here? Fourth down and six. I'm, I'm, here comes Marshall McGowan. I'm going to tell you what. If you're a Burns Bulldog fan, mm -hmm. you just took a big sigh of relief. And I believe the Warriors are going to take a timeout, Tom. So, Robbie, hit commercial four for me, please. I sure will. Thank you. We'll be right back. Yes, when it comes to real estate, nobody does it better than Sherry Horn of Sherry Horn Real Estate. Sherry was voted the best real estate agent and best real estate office in Cleveland County. If you're in the market to buy or sell your home, talk with Sherry Horn at Sherry Horn Real Estate. Call 704-915-5450 or visit her website at soldbysherry.com. And like her on Facebook, too, and you'll see why nobody does it better. Triad Corrugated Metal in Lincoln is this area's headquarters for premium metal roofing and supplies. And now just arrived, square tubing from metal carports and metal buildings. Give them a call at 980-429-2278 for pricing and sizes. And they have a wide variety of colors. Visit the website at triadcorrugatedmetal.com. And like them on Facebook too, Triad Corrugated Metal, 108 Industrial Park Road in Lincoln. Take your pick on a brand new Bobcat Moore from West End Sales in Vail. Pick 0% APR on financing. For there you go. Sorry about that. And we've got fourth down and six, and East Gaston leaving their offense on the field. Cheryl's in the shotgun. Don't be surprised to see him keep it. Burns will counter with a timeout. We'll be right back. Derisi Racing wants to wish the Burns Bulldogs good luck during this year's football season. Derisi Power Sports is your go-to for ATV and UTV parts, service and accessories, and Derisi is nationally recognized for building race engines and suspensions. They also perform race bike builds. Stop in today and see Santa. 
Toronto and Heather Derisi. These people know what they're doing and they're located at 4225 Paulston Road in Shelby. Or find them online at www.derisiracing.com. Call them at 704-538-3512. Hey, I'm Joey Logano, and if you're looking for affordable, quality equipment, James River delivers. Whether you're on hauling material or baling hay, James River has the John Deere mowers, tractors, gator utility vehicles, and implements you need to get it done fast. Plus, with low-rate financing and big cash rebates, James River makes owning a John Deere just as easy as it is to operate. Request a quote online at jamesriverequipment.com. James River delivers affordable quality. Oh, we're back. Big fourth down and six. Cheryl's in the shotgun. Bunch wide receivers to the left and then one wide out to the left. Cheryl rolls to his left. Still rolling. Being chased. Being chased. Fires. Intercepted. Or is it broken up? It's broken up. I tell you what. I'm in the booth and I don't coach. That was a strange play I, call. I'll be at that play call there. Time exactly right. Hey, my thing is now, if you're the Bulldogs' time, you got over two minutes left for a chance to get, try to get down the field for a score here and get the ball back to start the second half. These are those kind of opportunities where you can extend the lead a chance with the football. 13 plays over six minutes off the clock. Nothing to show for it. And your quarterback took some shots. But Absolutely. I'm going to tell you what, it's no worse for the wear. Burns went three and out on their last possession, though, Robbie. And their ground game has been non-existent. Yeah, there's been nothing there so far running the football. So let's see if they can get something going on the ground as Mooney's in the shotgun, claps the hands, gives some instructions. Claps the hands again. He's got it. He's back. Sets up the screen. It's there, but Norris can't haul it in. So that's incomplete. And I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to give this uh, East Gaston defense a little credit. They've been solid. Like you said, though, if Norris could have got that ball in, there was some room in front of him to run with it. So, so incomplete pass, and now it is second down. And number 20, I've been calling him the wrong name, Smith. It's actually McDowell. It's wrong in max prep. So, East Gaston, please update your max prep roster so that <laughs> won't happen again. Four wide receivers in for Burns. Mooney's got it. He's got time. He's got time. Let's it go deep into double coverage. And Surratt comes down with it. Or is it Goolsby? That's 19. Surratt comes down with it at the 49-yard line. What a catch by Kamari Surratt. What a throw by Mooney. What'd you give him, Joe? So that pass up to the 49-yard line. What's that? 34 yards. So big pass play and a Faustin Pharmacy first down. Mooney's got it. He's going to roll. He's going to roll back to his right. He's going to let it go. Man's there. Warlick incomplete, though. Missed him. So that one's incomplete. So that's all the way to the 49-yard line. So I guess that drive started at 16, Joe? So Burns took it on their own 16 and get a 34-yard pass play to get it into plus territory. Incomplete that time. And I'll tell you what, Robbie, they've abandoned the, the, the ground game. Yeah, they, they're going to the air right now, and so far it's working. Again, I, if this pass continues to work, it's going to loosen, I think, the ground game up for you. Right now, continue to attack. He's casting over the top. 137 left to go on your right shore scoreboard. You're listening to Burns Football, brought to you by West End Sales. Mooney now empties the set. He's got it. He looks. He fires. Caught. Nice catch there by Graham Warlick. Give him 12 yards and a false and pharmacy first down. Again, no timeouts for the Bulldogs here in this drive. So they're going to have to hurry. 132. And clock will wind. Two wide receivers left, two to the right. Mooney gives some instructions, claps the hands, has the football. He looks, he pump fakes, he lets it go. Man is breaking free, but incomplete. So incomplete there, and they'll bring up second down and 10 with a minute 14 left to go here in the second quarter. Yeah, really like that play call, though. Attacking him over the top. I'll tell you what, though, that is tough if you're East Cass in 13 plays. No points. Mm, nothing, nothing to show for it. So Mooney now is getting some instructions from Dimont, who looks like he's breakdancing there, <laughs> giving the directions in. 
I tell you what, man, if he can move like that, he needs to get some choreography lessons going on for some of the people here in Upper Cleveland. Mooney, back, scrambles, goes right, going to keep it, takes off, got five, and he has swung down out of bounds. But he's out of bounds. Fans want a flag, and David Devine is not happy. He is beside himself, thought that should have been unnecessary roughness. It's going to go in the books as a five-yard run. Was a little rough. Yeah, it was. You talk about your quarterback taking a shot. That's a tough one on the out of bounds line. I'll tell you what, the Coach Devine had the hat off screaming. <laughs> and I, I can't say I blame him, but, you know, it looked like he just took him to the ground rough. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's enough for a penalty. Might have thought it was out of bounds. And play clock down to seven, so they're going to have to get this off. Minute four left to go. Mooney's got it. Play fake, steps up, and he's going to try to run it. He's got the corner. He's got 5, 10, 15, runs out of bounds. That's at Faustin Pharmacy first down. See Ben Mooney there, speed coming into play there. Good run there, good decision. From the 33 all the way, where are they going to put this down? Th to the 20. So that is another run of 13 yards, and <laughs> Mooney's the leading rusher. I'd really like to see him pop Jeremiah Norris on a run here. They may have one timeout. We got any timeouts, guys? No, we're out. No, okay, we're out of timeouts. So thank you to Coach Beaver and the gang here in the in the box, Tony Beaver. So it is triple wide receivers left, one to the right. And Mooney's in the shotgun, and he's got it. He's going to roll. He's in trouble. Let's it go. That's probably going to be out of the end zone. And it's popped up and incomplete. I thought that was going to get out of the end zone, but it looked like an East Caston Warrior had a chance for an interception. Yeah, they're on the back line. That's eight plays. I, and I tell you, Tom, though, you got enough time. The, the, they're dropping so many guys. I could, would just about run something to the sidelines with Norris. Yeah, I mean... If you ran the ball, you'd have to get up and spike it, and now it's fourth down if you don't get it. You know, that's yeah. the only thing here. You might want to do it on first down, but two wide receivers to the left, two to the right, and Mooney's in the gun. And he claps the hands. He's got it. He's got a little time. Fires over the middle into traffic incomplete. Third down and 10, Robbie. Does that look to me a lot in a high traffic area? Yeah, I think, again, even throwing the football, I think I'd look for something along the sidelines here, try to work towards this first down. You still got enough time. You got some plays in your pocket. So, Yeah, I mean, you did hit. I mean, you know, as far as I know, that might have been the first extra point we've hit all year. I don't know if they're going to try a field goal. I would be inclined to say no. Uh, but uh, three wide receivers left, one to the right. And it's, uh, that's six back there. I think that's Goodson as, as the tailback. And Mooney. Uh, we just went to delay a game. And we just got to delay a game, but that's mm. a campers in RV penalty. Back burns up five more, Robbie. Yeah, there you were with no timeouts. A little late getting the play in, and there's just really nothing you could do. No, well, nothing you can do there. And I tell you what, that's tough as Norris is going to come back in. And that's Goodson coming out. So third down 15. As both teams here <laughs> at risk of long drives and no points, right? Yeah, absolutely. So Burns, third down and 15. Mooney's in the gun. He's got it. East Gaston coming after him. He steps up, corner of the end zone. Man's there, knocked away. Safety play. came over and knocked it away. Yeah, it's just a play. nice play by the East Gaston Warriors. Yeah, good play there by the safety. And that's what he's supposed to do. Now it's fourth down and 15, and there's no way you're going to try a field goal. So, I don't know. They're still coming after him pretty good. I wonder if they could slip somebody over the middle, a little slant, yeah, a little yeah, screen. a little screen pattern put one of your guys in space. He's got to get a first down, though. It's fourth down and 15. Johnny Johnson in the game at wide receiver there. And it's both defenses have kind of settled in a little bit here and at least put an end to drives. And it looks like East Gaston on the verge unless 
Burns can convert a very difficult fourth down 15. Mooney's got it. Play fake. He's going to roll to his left. He's still rolling. He's going to try to take off and get it himself. And did he get it? I don't know. He did not. Yeah, I don't think he did. He did not. He got to the 12. He got He got to the 13. He got 12 yards, but not enough. And that turns it over on downs. So Burns with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 play drive. No points. So it's the two teams that drove the length of the field pretty much and just came away with nothing. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Let's see what he's guessing Alex to do here. Well, you know, you're backed up deep. And your best play has been a number seven run, you know. Right. So, you know, we did see McDowell got loose. And like I, I say, I'm sorry, cards and letters to his family. It was it was Smith on Max Preps. I apologize. He's going to take a knee. Don't blame him. And that's going to go in the books as a four-yard loss. And that's going to do it. So we're going to step away. And we're going to have the Marburger Chevrolet Halftime Show. And Joe will do the stats. Robbie will break it down. I'll do the scoring drives. <clears throat> and then we'll be, we'll, we'll be back with the second half. So that's what's coming up. We'll also have the Burns High School Halftime Show brought to you by Wright's Jewelry, the band, the marching band's halftime show. So we'll be right back. Once again, Wright's Jewelry scoreboard, 21 apiece. Triad Corrugated Metal in Lincoln is this area's headquarters for premium metal roofing and supplies. And now just arrived, square tubing from metal carports and metal buildings. Give them a call at 980-429-2278 for pricing and sizes. And they have a wide variety of colors. Visit the website at triadcorrugatedmetal.com. And like them on Facebook too, Triad Corrugated Metal, 108 Industrial Park Road in Lincoln. Built upon a solid foundation of cast iron and steel, the Kubota L-Series is part of our under 100 horsepower tractor lineup rated number one for reliability. They feature powerful Kubota diesel engines and easy operation. The durable Kubota L-Series. Talk to your local Kubota dealer today to schedule a demo. Go to KubotaUSA.com for full disclaimer. Your Kubota dealer is part of Farm Service, located at 126 Bessie Drive on Oak Grove Road at the Highway 74 Bypass in Kings Mountain. Today, having choices at the end of life's journey is more important than ever. Choosing the proper way to honor a loved one is not an easy task. There are many emotional, personal, and spiritual issues to consider. Now, there is a new alternative to traditional burial and flame-based cremation. Fidel's Aquamation is a water-based natural process that gently returns your loved one's remains to their natural ash form. Learn more at stamietysigerfuteralhome.com or drop by their offices in Falston and in Cherryville. It's the all-new Nissan of Shelby, where they do the right thing. First time, every time. Nissan of Shelby now has new management, plus a big new inventory. With new prices, giving you a whole new customer experience. Check their amazing lineup. Nissan Rogues and Baranos, and trucks like the Nissan Frontier and Titan, plus a wide range of pre-owned vehicles with special rates and pricing. Come to the all-new Nissan of Shelby, 631 South Post Road, right off Highway 7 for Eastern Shelby. Online at NissanofShelby.com. Local, scratch-made, and delicious food right there in Boston. It's Johnny Ray Smokehouse. The menu is loaded with delicious slow-smoke barbecue, brisket, burgers, salads, plus Friday night is rib night. And be sure you start off your meal with their famous fried cheese curds. They're out of this world. Stop by today, Johnny Ray Smokehouse. 4629 Boston Road, Highway 18, open 11 to 8 Wednesday and Thursday, 11 to 9 Friday and Saturday, 11 to 9 on Sunday. Like them on Facebook too. Buying a home. All right, what we got now is the Burns High School Band seniors being recognized. And once again, the Burns High School Band sponsored by Wright's Jewelry. Thank you. 
studying civil engineering. Yeah. Uh, 
Once again, I want to remind our listeners, Wright's Jewelry bringing you the Burns High School band there. So we want to make sure our seniors got recognized. Thank you, Wright's Jewelry, for sponsoring both the band and school board this year. But I'm going to do a quick scoring summary here on the Marburger Chevrolet halftime show. Uh, East Gaston got the ball first, scored off to an 11-play drive, took went 50 yards, 5.03 off the clock. Cheryl runs it in from two yards out. Abernathy kid, kick is good, 7 to nothing. East Gaston. After Burns turns it over on downs, McDowell dashes in from 36 yards away on one play, nine second drive. Abernathy's kick good, 14 to nothing. Then Burns answers quickly at one play, 64 yard TD strike to Kenyon Surratt. And the Drew Dixon extra point was good, 14 to seven. After Burns forces a three and out, two play drive after on the short field, Norris hauls in a 24 yard touchdown. The two point, the, excuse me, the extra point fails. It's 13 to 14 at that point. Burns forces another three and out, gets the ball back, and very quickly on five plays, 72 yards. There's an 18 yard touchdown to Gould, uh, excuse me, a 41 yard touchdown to Goolsby. Johnny Johnson hauls in the two point conversion. It's 21 14 at that point. But East Gaston strikes back, a four play drive on the short field. Only took 41 yards and helped by a Burns uh, penalty as it's 22, and I believe that's, uh, that's Brown runs in from six yards out. And the Abernathy kick was good, 21-21. Burns went three and out. Then East Gaston has a 13-play drive that ends up with no points. Burns has an 11-play drive with no points. And that's where we are, 21-21 on your Wright's Jewelry School Board here. Robbie? Let's take a look now, Tom, if you want to some of these individual stats from the first half. And uh, we talked about uh, Burns really struggling to run the football in the first half of this game. Uh, Brandon, uh, ben Mooney was our leading rusher with 27 yards, but then you look at Jeremiah Norris, minus five yards rushing yeah. in the first half. And then also uh, you had Xavion Wilson with negative four rushing. So Burns has got to figure out a way to try to get that ground game going a little bit. But then when Burns was able to attack through the air, what a night for Mooney so far. 230 yards through the air so far. Uh, his top receivers have been uh, Kenyon Surratt, 86 yards receiving. You also have Jeremiah Norris with 24. Uh, you have Graham Warlock with 79 yards, and you also have Landon Goolsby with 41 yards receiving. And, of course, he had a touchdown. Uh, let's see, uh, Surratt had a touchdown as well. So, uh, you know, the passing game going well right now for the Bulldogs, but, again, the ground game is the biggest issue against this East Gaston defense. On the defensive side of things, some of the leading guys, you see, look at Xavion Wilson having a great game in the tackling department. He's joined there by Mari Rankin, Little John. Uh, also, Landon Dover with a good night so far. Uh, it's Ethan Guy, good night uh, defensively. Uh, we're also going to include Marshall McGowan. We know what he means for this team on the defensive side of things. Special teams wise, it was Kamari Surratt with a, a punt return for 24 yards. Uh, and then also uh, Johnny Johnson, a punt of 38 yards. And then on the kickoff department, it was, so I have to look at my numbers here. Let's see, it was uh, Zach Courier in the return department on kickoffs. Uh, he has a total of 88 yards returning so far for the Bulldogs. So, again, out of those numbers, the biggest thing for me, Burns has got to find a way to start running the football. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you had told me Jeremiah Norris would have negative yardage, I mean, yeah. I, but that's two things that are key to winning at the high school level. One, you must run the football. Two, you must stop the run. Yeah. And uh, not done a great job against the run. I mean, not horrible, but have not really stoned that run, especially the quarterback run with Cheryl. And they gave up the long run to McDowell for the touchdown. You know, so there's there's some concerns on that side of the ball. But really, you know, you need you need to get that that running game to sustain a drive, keep your defense off the field a little bit. You know, you know, 
and, and let's keep the time of possession. Yeah, let's be honest, Tom, though. There's 21 points that these Gaston's got. You look at the great field position they had on all three of those scoring drives, which, again, we talked about loosens you up a little bit, yeah. what you want to do offensively, and you can lean into that run a little bit more for the Warriors. So you've got to figure out a way to, to kind of start pinning them a little deeper, start getting them such a good field position to start as well. Jace Rowe's been doing a great job of kickoff returns for the East mm-hmm. Gaston Warriors. He's set them up twice in plus territory after kickoff. So a uh, couple of things that Burns needs to tighten the screws on. Hopefully they'll get it here in the second half. And you're watching great performance there by the Burns High School Band and Color Guard under the direction of our new band director, Kyle Maple. So we appreciate Wright's Jewelry for bringing that to us tonight. And that's why we're able to see these halftime uh, presentations of our Burns High School Band. So thank you very much for your continued support. Wright's Jewelry of Burns High School Football. Speaking of Wright's Jewelry, school board 21-21. We're going to take a quick break, come back, and when we come back, we'll have a few more things to add here on the post-game, at least the post-game, the, the <laughs> halftime show. It's been a long day. We have been show. here a while. We have been here a while. <laughs> uh, but you're listening to Burns Football, brought to you by West End Sales. Ball is here. And Main Street Hardware in Lydell is everything you'll need for the cooler weather months. All types of heaters are in stock now, plus a huge stock of Red Max equipment and price to sell. Hedges, trimmers, and more. Check out the new line of outdoor furniture that you got to see. It's not too late to aerate and reseed. Main Street Hardware has seed, straw, and pine needles. And, of course, Main Street has all you need for projects around the house. See them today, Main Street Hardware, 356 Main Street read in Lindale and like them on Facebook too. Go Bulldogs! Local, scratch made and delicious food right there in Boston. It's Johnny Ray Smokehouse. The menu is loaded with delicious slow smoke barbecue, brisket, burgers, salads, plus Friday night is rib night. And be sure you start off your meal with their famous fried cheese curds. They're out of this world. Stop by today. Johnny Ray Smokehouse. 4629 Highway 18, open 11 to 8 Wednesday and Thursday, 11 to 9 Friday and Saturday, 11 to 9 on Sunday. Like them on Facebook too. They are a home health care continues to grow, and because of this growth, they are in need of new employees. CB Auto Home Healthcare and join their growing team of healthcare professionals with immediate opportunities in Gaston, Lincoln, and Cleveland counties. And they take all safety precautions possible with an experienced trained staff. Just call 704 669 4000 or visit the website at bayada.com. Bayada Home Healthcare. They love what they do. Since 1968, Putnam Distributors in Patterson Springs has been serving this area with a full line of automotive products, including oils, transmission fluids, antifreeze, filters, chemicals, parts, and supplies for all types of automobiles and trucks with many brands to choose from. They sell to individuals or wholesale. Just visit the walk-in counter. Putnam Distributors, 1626 Peterson Drive off south of Shelby. Call 704-487-9395 704-487-9395 or visit the website at PutnamDistributors.com. Putnam Distributors in Patterson Springs, offering quality automotive parts and supplies for over 50 years. Oliver's Hardware and Garden Center is not just a hardware store, but a real general store carrying items like feed and seed, hay, pine needles, and straw. Also, case knives, grove line, belts, Ash County cheese, Guernsey milk, Hunter's liver mush, and many more unique items not found in your typical hardware store. They've got it all at Oliver's Hardware, 3712 Faustin Road, between Faustin and Shelby, or online at olivershardware.com. Oliver's Hardware proudly supports the Burns football team and wishes them good luck for a great season. On the go quick lube in Boston is not just oil changes, they have tires for all cars with names like GT Radio, Hankook, and Toyo, plus interstate batteries and wiper blades. Of course, they do oil changes featuring Castro, Motorcraft, and Rotella diesel oil, and they carry diesel truck fuel filters. Plus, they're an official North Carolina inspection station. For quick service with competitive pricing and professional technicians, head over to On The Go Quick Loop today. 3716 Boston Road, Highway 18 North of Shelby, and go Burns Bulldogs. 
For nearly 50 years, the K family at Numbers Bookkeeping and Income Tax Service have been taking care of your bookkeeping and income tax needs in Shelby, Cleveland County, and the surrounding area. They feature a staff of enrolled agents and registered tax return preparers to make sure you get every advantage you deserve. That's Numbers Bookkeeping and Income Tax Service, 707 South Lafayette Street in Shelby. Give them a call at 704-484-2783. Online at numbersofshelby.com. They are there for you. It's time to get ready for flu season with a stop in at Medical Center Pharmacy in Cherryville and the Falston Pharmacy in Falston. Flu shots are now in. Drop by at your convenience and get your flu shot from a qualified technician. Stay healthy this winter and check with them for all your prescription needs. And both have a convenient drive through window. That's Medical Center Pharmacy, 607 East Academy Street, Cherryville, and the Falston Pharmacy on Highway 18 North in Falston. All right, we're back, and I've got some scores to share and some insight. Thank you to Terry Reinhardt and Kevin Hastings. Terry Reinhardt tells me, Drone 42, Rosman nothing. Rosman won last week to snap a 40. 40 game losing streak. Mm. Bunker Hill is up on Main 21 9. Here it's 21 21 on your right's jewelry scoreboard. Kevin sent me some scores maybe half hour ago. Uh, so we'll give those the best we can. West Lincoln 28 7 over West Caldwell. Charitable 7 6 over Thomas Jefferson. R Central up 13 to 12 over East Rutherford. 44 0 Shelby over Bessemer City. Lincoln in 13, uh, 38 14 over East Burke. Bandy's 21 6 over Newton Conover. Bunker Hill 21 9 over Maiden. Watauga 27 7 over High Brighton. Chase 21 7 over Polk County. Brevard 28 0 over Patton. Hickory 44 13 over West Iredale. North Lincoln 36 7 over Ford. Freedom 13 7 over Ash County. Smoky Mountain 14 3 over Franklin. Mountain Heritage 14 7 over Mitchell. And Bishop McGinnis, 14-7 over Mountain Island Charter. I tell you, Tom, you mentioned that Bunker Hill team still undefeated on the year. Could right. still be undefeated. I, it, an interesting thought for me, if I'm Bunker Hill, one of the teams you can see rolling into your place, the Burns Bulldogs, yeah, Shelby yeah. Golden Lions. Yeah, uh, no. Interesting. Now that it's all 2A, you know, there's no big 2A, little 2A. That's I mean, right. They're all going to be reclassed again, you know. I think they're going up, what, to 5A. Is that what they're going well, up to? Well, I guess now we'll have to wait and see what the legislature decide how, decides how they want to handle that's it. That's so. right. And never, never underestimate the ineptitude of a state legislature. Absolutely. And, and I think that, uh, you know, people have always said it, that guy. <laughs> How do I put this euphemistically? A lot of state legislatures are not known for their great decisions. So let's let's hope that they get it right. We'll see. I think it was was it Ronald Reagan time that said uh, one of the scariest things you can hear is I'm here from for the government and I'm here to help. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I think if we're yeah. fans of, of high school athletics and yeah. we hear we're here from the government and we're here to help, I'm not sure we should feel good about that. Yeah. <laughs> I know our our federal government uh, does its fair share of screwing up but I, I just sometimes I, I worry about our state reps so we'll see we'll see we'll see what they do and we're getting ready for in another couple of minutes we're gonna have the second half so uh, we're gonna step away on this uh, Marburger Chevrolet halftime show and we'll be right back with Jim Jay's Pizza Factory kickoff 21 all on your right jewelry scoreboard you're listening to Burns Football Brought to you by West End Sale. There's excitement brewing at Classic Ford Lincoln in Shelby. There's some exciting new models that have arrived. Come see for yourself. Be sure to take a look at the new Ford Bronco Heritage. You're going to love it. Come see the Shelby Cobra 500 GT Mustang and the all-new Mustang Dark Horse. Plus many pre owns priced at under $10,000. Yes, excitement is the word with these great new models at Classic Ford Lincoln. 1775 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. Online at ClassicFordOfShelby.com. Built upon a solid foundation of cast iron and steel, the Kubota L-Series is part of our under 100 horsepower tractor lineup rated number one for reliability. They feature powerful Kubota diesel engines and easy operation. The durable Kubota L-Series. 
Talk to your local Kubota dealer today to schedule a demo. Go to KubotaUSA.com for full disclaimer. Your Kubota dealer is part of Farm Service. Located at 126 Bessie Drive on Oak Grove Road at the Highway 74 Bypass in Kings Mountain. All right, we're back. Jim Jay's Pizza Factory uh, coming up. We'll be received by the Burns Bulldogs, and let's see if they can do anything on offense. And like you said, Robbie, they've got to get something going on the ground. I think if they want to win this game, they've got to get the, the ground game going. You know, both teams ended the first half with great drives. They just were not able to finish with the score. So let's see if Burns can keep that momentum of that first half drive that ended, see if they can continue here in the first, continue to march down the field. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, you're getting the big shots, but uh, a lot of times finishing off drives does involve running the football. And, and right now our best rushing attack, Ben Mooney, yeah. you know, on a quarterback scramble. And like you said, that minus five for Jeremiah Norris, I've got to get Jeremiah Norris involved in my offense, I think, yeah. here in the second half. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. It is time for the Jam and Jay's Pizza Factory second half kickoff. Thank you for listening once again. To the Marburger Chevrolet halftime show. And I, you know, used to be, you know, Marburger was the Dodge place for so long, you know. That's right. And now there's Chevrolet too. It doesn't quite roll off the tongue, but it will. <laughs> but it will. As you know, that's the former Carter Chevrolet is where they're located. They've bought it out up there on Dixon Boulevard. Abernathy pops one up, and it's going to land there at the 25. No, it's going to be returned. And not sure who's got it. Graham Warlick returned it to the 38, so Burns will take it in good shape at their own 38-yard line, first down and 10. Yeah, nice starting field position here for the Bulldogs. And, again, let's see, you know, do you get that concerted effort of trying to get the run started here, or do you continue to look at that passing game, 260 in the first half for Mooney? Did he keep trying to attack over the top? Yeah, let's see if they try to get the ground game going. And this front four for East Gas, they're going to give them credit, man. They're putting a lot of guys around the line. There it is again. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, yeah, nobody back. It. Nobody back. So there may be Thomas Jefferson, 14, Cherubal, 7. And that's going to be Jeremiah Norris. He's going to pick his way. And there's a positive run for Jeremiah. Give him about 6. It'll be second down and 4. I think he needed that one. Yeah, I think just, yeah, just for his confidence. So he got a run. Now he's in the positive. Well, they're going to give him five. So it'll be second down, first down, and, excuse me, second down and five. And he's in, yeah. he's in the positive. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Jeremiah Norris, negative yards running. That's almost unfathomable. So it's going to be Norris again, and he's got a little crease, falls forward. Give him four, three or four more, be third down and two. So we see two straight running plays here for the Bulldogs. Again, trying to get that ground game going. And I don't blame him. It looks like a little bit less than two, close to one yard. And, and I would, too. I mean, you know, you got to, you know, you kind of live and die by the long pass. You know, it's definitely a higher percentage. But look at look again. You're yeah. right. Everybody around the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they're out there. They're, they're, they're and they're offside. And <laughs> I think it's Caleb Bird going a little bit overboard. But that's going to be an East Gaston offside. Campers in. Five-yard penalty and a Falston Pharmacy first down. And now Burns quickly into plus territory at the 47. We saw they get the Bulldogs a few times in the first half. Now East Gaston getting bit by the offside call. So first down, 10. And 10.30 and counting. And Mooney in the gun. Claps the hands, has the ball. Play action over the middle. Slant caught. Is that Marshall McGowan? That is Marshall McGowan. So it's to the 48, to the 28. So give Marshall McGowan a 28-yard pass reception. And, uh, excuse me, a 20-yard pass reception and another false in pharmacy first down. Yeah, from that H-back spot. I like that play call. Yep. And, again, it's going to be offside against the win. Warriors. So that's going to be first down and five. This drive looks very similar to East Gaston's first drive. It sure drive. does, absolutely. So they're going to move it five more. And so Burns, first down and five. Ten minutes left to go, third quarter. 21 apiece on your right's jewelry scoreboard. And Mooney's in the gun again. Little pistol set this time, double wide receivers right. 
And it's McGowan, the H back to the right. Norris picks his way, falls forward. And I'll tell you what, he's just one step away from breaking one, isn't he? Absolutely. And he's to the 19. Are they going to give him five yards? Yeah, they're going to give him five yards and another Falston Pharmacy first down. So a run of five, and uh, Norris quickly has 13 yards here in the uh, second half. So good uh, first drive for Norris. Glad to see him get some positive runs here, and they're going to try him again. He bounces it to the right, cuts it back up. He'll get around, let's see, to the 11. And give him six yards. Good run on first down, Robbie. So again, we see Burns coming out here to start this second half, really focusing on that running game. We give him five. They're going to give him four or five. They're giving four on the board. I don't know, Robbie. Looks like right there at about four or five yards. I guess I'll rift him back long, to long, four. Long four, yeah, short four five. And half, four and a half. They'll give point fives. <laughs> Empty set now as Norris goes in motion. It's going to be quarterback draw. Mooney into the end zone for a 12-yard numbers bookkeeping touchdown. Impressive drive for the Bulldogs. Absolutely methodical drive there by Burns. We talked again about getting that running game going. They did in that drive. Had the great pass over the top, and you start loosening up that East Gaston defense. So six plays, and they go 62 yards, and it took... Three minutes and 10 seconds. So pretty good opening drive there for the Bulldogs. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six plays. I thought there might be seven, but there were six. And now it's Drew Dixon in for the Neyland Cole extra point and up. And it's true, so we'll be right back. Take your pick on a brand new Bobcat Moore from Weston Sales in Vail. Pick 0% APR on financing for 60 months or get an $800 instant rebate. You just take your pick and pick out your new Bobcat Mower. Take a look at a Bobcat ZT2000, $500 instant cash rebate. A Bobcat ZT3000, $700 instant cash rebate. Or the Bobcat ZT3500 with an $800 instant rebate. See them today at Westin Sales, Highway 1827 Intersection in Vail. Online at westinsales.com. Like them on Facebook too. But again, a six-play, 62-yard drive takes three minutes, 10 seconds off the clock. Burns retakes the lead, 28-14, uh, 28-21 on your Rice Jewelry scoreboard, Robbie. Yeah, again, a great drive by the Bulldogs. And Johnny Johnson's Jam and Jay's Pizza Factory kickoff spins to the 15, 20, big collision there. And I tell you what, man, that was a that was an earth-shattering hit <laughs> there. Both the guys. We're going 100 miles an hour. Yeah, you got to love that. Love getting downfield. Great coverage there on the kickoff. And for us again, East Gaston have to go deep uh, into territory this time. You know, not horrible, not great. That's what I'd say, 29-yard line. Not horrible, not great. If you got them inside the 30, I say that's pretty good. Better than at the 50. Yeah. <laughs> Make him get those two or three extra first downs. Yes. So Burns now, look at this five-man front, Robbie. There's the adjustment. And man goes in motion, and it's going to be a running play. Slips through, slips a tackle, and he might go, and he is. It's gone. He's going to take it all the way in for a touchdown, and that's 22. That's Brown. And Brown goes in for a 71-yard touchdown, and just like that, we're going to have a tie game pending the extra point. Looks like East Gaston's got a lineman down. Yeah, so they've got a lineman down, so we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Trusted, tried, and true. Those three words represent the highest standards for the Kawasaki Mule side-by-side. Trusted means being built strong and built to last. Tried means being put to the test by hardworking people in the toughest jobs. True means staying authentic to the roots that run 30 years deep. Kawasaki Mule, the definition of trusted, tried, and true. 
See the Kawasaki Mule today at Bull Throw Power Sports, 101 Indian Walk in Lowell. How would you like a new heat and an air conditioning system for just $85 a month? Of course you would. And you can have it today by calling Bill Shuford Heat and Air in Shelby. Get a new American Standard heated and air conditioning system for as low as $85 per month for qualified buyers on qualified systems. American Standard is rated number one in reliability. And they service all brands. Bill Shuford Heated and Air, 213 Campbell Street in Shelby, online at BillShufordHVAC.com. Call 704-484-0025. It looks like the injured warrior able to get off the field, but it's Brown who dashes in from 71 yards, Robbie. Like you, when you had a chance there at the line of scrimmage, you brought five guys up to the line, and once he got through, you just could not catch him. I mean, you can't, you can't arm tackle, man. There's no way. Can't so, do it. Abernathy in for the Neal and Cole extra point to try to tie this ball game. Burns has had leads twice, erased by East Gaston. Matching scores. Snap a little high, but Abernathy's true. We'll be right back. It's the all-new Nissan of Shelby, where they do the right thing. First time, every time. Nissan of Shelby now has new management, plus a big new inventory with new prices, giving you a whole new customer experience. Check their amazing lineup. Nissan Rogues and Baranos, and trucks like the Nissan Frontier and Titan, plus a wide range of pre-owned vehicles with special rates and pricing. Come to the all-new Nissan of Shelby, 631 South Post Road, right off Highway 7 for Eastern Shelby. Online at nissanofshelby.com. Jumpin' Jed's in the heart of downtown Boston wants to wish the Burns Bulldogs the best of luck this season. Stop in for country, primitive, and farmhouse home decor. Also, Amish-made furniture, quilts, baskets, and more, along with Amish-made jams, jellies, sauces, and butters, plus Billy Jacob Prince and Smoky Mountain Soup. See the local artisan woodwork, pottery, jewelry, braided rugs, plus Hershey's ice cream in cups, cones, shakes, or floats. Jumpa Jed's in the heart of downtown Boston. Open 10 to 6 Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 4 on Saturday. Like them on Facebook, too. We're back as Brown's 71-yard touchdown ties it up at 28. A little pooch kick, and it's going to be fielded at the 30 to the 35. And... Stacked up and tackled at the 37, almost exactly where Burns started the first drive. So Burns will take it with 8.27 left to go. And we're getting some scores from around the area. So let me check my phone, which has been beeping too much. But let's see if I can pull it up and then I'll try to get it after this play. As we've got a bunch of scores here. North Lincoln defeats Fred, Fred T. Ford 50 to nothing. Hickory defeats West Ireland 51 to 27. That Hickory team is pretty good. Yes, they undefeated in 3A. Yep. Bunker Hill 21 made nine at halftime. Thank you, Terry Reinhardt. Here it's 28 apiece. It's been a barn burner. And Mooney is going to hand it. Norris picks his way. He's over the 40. He's over the 44, almost to the 45. So give him... Close to eight yards, it'll be second down and two. And I'm just glad to see Jeremiah mm -hmm. starting to get it going a yeah, little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So Jeremiah runs it for seven yards. And it will be second down and three. Just joining us, as I said, it's 28-28. Bunker Hill 35 made nine. Thank you, Terry. So, second down and three. You go out of bounds on that one, didn't you, Robbie? Yeah, yep. so the clock stops at 8.20. And Mooney claps the hands. And it looks like Jeremiah on a screen, but he's not going there. Going deep, and he's got him in a bucket. It's going to be a touchdown for Burns. As into the end zone goes Surratt. I believe that. Is that Surratt? For a 56-yard touchdown. Big play after big play, Robbie. And once again, we're talking about a track meet breaking loose here at Burns tonight. He's 19. Right? Unbelievable. So that is a 56-yard touchdown pass. <laughs> so it's, just, it's like a PlayStation game. So here comes Drew Dixon. So you're saying Moody went up, up, down, down on that I'm one. I'm telling you. I mean, it was just... <laughs> You know, I mean, defense optional. 
So which defense is going to make a play? That's it. Who, who makes the first big play? You know, who's going who's gonna to make a play? I mean, no, no, the defenses just aren't doing their job. No, we, we got, got a, a flag. A penalty. Let's hopefully that's not on Burns because if it is, I'm East Gasset. I'm taking it here. I'm not sure what that camper's in penalty is. Who's it on? Oh, and the, the way East Gaston is reacting. Yeah, East Gaston's kind of acting like it could be on them. So let's see. And that is dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct mm. against the Warriors. What I would do is I'd take, it, take on it on the kick. kickoff. Take That's it on the kick. Take it on the kickoff. So it's Drew Dixon going to line it up again. Now sometimes you might move it up a yard and see if you can power it in and get the extra point. But Dixon, Neelan Cole extra point. It's yeah, no good. So it stays 34-28 on your right Strewer scoreboard. After that exciting Neelan Cole touchdown by Surratt, we'll be right back. It's time to power up. Power up with Skag Power Equipment powered by Vanguard. From Ellie's Supply Company in Polkville, the Vanguard is now available on the Skag Tiger Cat and the Skag Patriot models. See the Skag Tiger Cat 52-inch mower with Vanguard 810cc 28 horsepower EFI engine or the Skag Patriot available in 52 and 61-inch cuts with the Vanguard 810cc 26 horsepower engines. Power up with the Skag from Elliott Supply Company, Highway 182 in Polkville, online at elliottsupplyinc.com. Hey, Bulldog fans, it's Jennifer here from Wright Jewelry. We are your number one shop for all of your jewelry and gift-giving needs. Our showcase full of plastic and fashion board designs. I do have to say they're pretty incredible as I pick them out myself. Don't forget to come see me for all of your custom designs and engagement ring needs. Visit us, 4911 Boston Road, Boston. Shop us 24-7 online and follow us on social media, Wright's Jewelry Store. All right, we're back. Wright's Jewelry School Board, 34-28. Jam J's Pizza Factory kickoff will be taken at the 45, and sometimes you want to do it onside here. Nope, they're not. Johnny Johnson's just going to kick it into the end zone, and East Gaston will start on their own 20-yard line, first down and 10. They've had to play it ball one play, and that one play was a 71-yard touchdown, Robbie. So this time, let's not make an 80. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> a 71-yard touchdown, yeah, that's right, 71. It was at the 29-yard line. So East Gaston will take it on their own 20. Just joining us once again, 34-28 on your Wright's Jewelry scoreboard. And thanks for listening. Thanks for joining us. And Burns. Now they're back to the four-man front. <laughs> that was a quick adjustment. And it's going to be running play up the middle. Positive yards, about five. Not sure who the ball carrier was. 22, that's Brown again. He's been a workhorse. So Brown has a run. A uh, five yards, second and five. But there it is again, Robbie, that positive play on first yeah, down. Yeah, that first down play. I mean, it just puts you in favorable down and distance. You know, opens up your playbook a little bit. Now Burns having a hard time getting lined up on defense. And man comes in motion. Cheryl, quarterback draw all the way, fights his way. He's got seven, got nine almost. And that's a Faustin Pharmacy first down. i tell you what, tough kid this Cheryl. So that moves it up to the 34-yard line. That's a nine-yard run. And I tell you what, as I've said, you got to stop the run. Yeah. Got to stop the run, man. They're going to keep running you've, the ball until you stop it. You've shown you can run it now. Right. Now it's a matter of stopping it. Right. So it is second down. I mean, excuse me, first down in 10, seven minutes, 11 seconds left to go on your Rice Jewelry scoreboard. And that's going to be a little sweep around to the left side. Almost got him for a loss. But instead, it's going to be a gain of about five yards. So there's that five-yard run, first down. That's what I'm talking about. What number was that, Joe? Yeah. Eight. Eight. So eight, the ball carrier there. I don't think I've called his name tonight. 
I'm going to use the right roster, and that's o Omerian Pryor, who gains close to five yards. They hit, just like you said, Robbie, there it is again, and it's going to be another running play and just a power run. Look at that, push in the pile. Yeah. And he's going to get seven yards and another false in pharmacy first down. So that's, uh, I'm not sure who had it that time. Is that 22 that okay, time? 22 on that one, I think. So 22. Brown, who's been a workhorse, I'm telling you. You got you got to stop the run. Yeah, between between that running back and that quarterback, that's, those are two tough you, guys to bring down. There's a reason why they've got over 300 yards a game on the ground. Oh, almost 300. I think it was like 296. But their rushing yards were pretty impressive, and they're showing you why. First down and 10. There's two back-to-back -back Falston Pharmacy first downs, and Cheryl's going to keep it, and he's got room. Uh, he's tackled by the ankles, but not before. Guess what? He's got five Eight, more. Seven, five. So on this drive, there's already been two first downs. Every first down play has been five yards. So every time you're getting five yards on first down, now you're second and five. You're keeping the defense on their heels. 34-28 Burns, 5.36 left to go. As this may be, whoever has the ball last, Robbie, as you said, you've called it. So Burns looking to dig in here and get a stop on a running play. And Cheryl, and it's going to be another running play. I think that's McDowell this time. This time stacked up, no gain. Yeah, a lot of good job there by the Burns interior defensive line. But you know what you're suspect to now, Robbie, is a play-action pass. Mm -hmm. Once you start selling out to stop the run, you know, there may be that play-action pass over the top. So let's see what they do here. If I'm East Gaston, though, I'm going to run the ball again. You've only stopped me once. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plays. Six plays, all runs. Only one has been less than five right. yards. So let's see if they run it again. Cheryl's in the gun, double wide receivers right, one to the left. He's going to throw it. He's got a man, and it's caught, and it's Helms again who makes a couple. No, it's not Helms. It's two. Excuse me, that's Rowe. Check that, Rowe, and he takes it to the 39. So that is a gain of... 12 and a Falston Pharmacy first down. Cheryl come out of there quick with the football to complete that pass. He, can, I tell you what, he's can sling it. That's the third Falston Pharmacy first down. Quickly out in the flat, positive yardage. And they wanted to hold on that play, not going to get it. It's number four on the reception, John Michael Green, I believe. Yeah, I thought that far receiver, like he actually turned the defender when he grabbed him. So that's going to be a pass play of six yards. Second down and four, and East Gaston going right down the field. And it looks like Burns has got one, two, three, four hats on the line. Five now, as Xavier Wilson came in and blew the play up. Wow. He timed it perfect. I he thought did. he might have been offside. So I'm not sure who, who carried it, but it was no yards, and I think <laughs> Xavier had enough. Yeah, that was four. That was Xavion Wilson. And now it is third down and three. I think they gave me a yard on that. Yeah, they did. And that's, see, you can't do it twice, kid. You can't do it twice. That's a campers in penalty, and that's going to be another Falston Pharmacy first down. So you just can't, you just can't do it. You just can't do it. Four first downs for East Gaston. 3.26 left to go third quarter. Burns up six, but East Gaston driving. And uh, the faithful in the box, a little incredulous, but it just it just happens. You just got a little greedy. Yep. But that's what happens when the other team's running successfully, running successfully, and then it leads to somebody. Wanted to get that. Yeah, yeah trying to do a little bit too much. Cheryl's in the gun again. Man goes in motion now. He's going to keep it himself. This time he's not going anywhere. Not sure who got him. Ten, that's Amari Rankin gets him down for a loss of four. Good job of coming off the end there. He was in the backfield, able to disrupt the timing. Big play by the Burns defense. Soft-spoken Amari Rankin. Well, I'll tell you what, he does a good job there at defensive end, and Burns needed that. Now they need to put another one together here. 
Second down and 14. And Cheryl's quickly out in the flat, covered nicely by Burns, and the ball comes out uh -huh. and fumbled forward. I guess they get the spot of the ball, don't they? They do. So that's going to be a complete pass, and the fumble's going to gain them five yards. So I, I don't agree with that. I think it should go back to where yeah, the fumble where, is. Where the fumble occurred. But that's not what they do unless it's like into the end zone or something like that. can't remember what the exact rule is, but they do get the additional yardage. That's, that's unfortunate because that would have been a two-yard loss. So instead, it's third down and a more manageable eight as Cheryl's in the gun, Brown beside him. And looked like they moved a little early. They're after Cheryl. He lets it go. Wide open, touchdown. Nobody even near him, and that's Omarion Pryor, and that's what happens, Robbie, when you run the football effectively. Yeah, they're able to run it, run it, run it. You started cheating up, cheating up, and then the guy gets behind you right. on that right side. That's what happens. So number eight ties the score, and this Neyland Cole extra point after the numbers bookkeeping touchdown. This Neyland Cole extra point can put East Gaston ahead. They haven't been ahead since it was uh, 14 to seven. Yeah. So Abernathy in for the extra point. Snap good, hold good, kick up, kick good. East Gaston regains the lead. We'll be right back. It's truck season at Marburger Chevrolet in Shelby. Comes to the new 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 Crew Cab RST. Get 0% APR financing for well-qualified buyers, plus no monthly payments for 90 days when you finance with GM Financial. Plus get a $750 cash allowance. Or make every day a getaway with the new 2023 Chevy Equinox. Get 2.1% APR financing for well-qualified buyers or take $1,250 cash allowance. Get yours today at Barburger Chevrolet, 200 West Dixon Boulevard, Shelby. Attention home buyers. Call Neyline Coal Termite and Pest Control before purchasing your new home to avoid getting stuck with extensive damage, typically not covered by homeowner's insurance. Neyline Coal Termite and Pest Control will inspect your home for prior or present wood destroying insects and moisture. Call Neyline Coal Termite and Pest Control today to schedule your free estimate at 1 800 the number 7 the web and receive $25 off any new service from Neyline Coal Termite and Pest Control. Jam J's Pizza Factory kickoff spins down, called at the 29, up to the 35, and <laughs> Burns is about had it in the same spot. Same spot. So that will be at the 36 yard line. That was a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 play drive. And it took about 5 minutes and 50 seconds off the clock, Robbie. You know, again, we talked even during the break, it's all about that ground game right now for East Gaston. And yep. Burns just cannot limit the ground game, and it's opening up other things in the offense. And I mean, part of it's East Gaston is good. But you've got to you've got to make a stop, you know. And you uh, left yourself, you exposed yourself there, as that was a wide open touchdown. Mooney is going to give to uh, Mook, and he's got it up there for about eight. So that's Jeremiah Norris. He's getting it going a little bit yes, now. Yes, they've seen him run well here in the second half. Mookie's what they call him. His nickname. And so he gets eight yards on first down, second down and two. There's no way Jeremiah Norris should have negative <laughs> That's right. yardage at any point in the game. Unless he fell down in the backfield on his first carry. So uh, Bunker Hill, 35, made nine. Snap back, run up the middle, not sure where he got, where he was spun down. Oh, they're going to give him four yards, and that's a Falston Pharmacy first down. So Burns has got not quite the East Gaston rush game. They've got theirs going a little bit better now. Down by a point, 35-34 on your right jewelry scoreboard. The difference, the extra point, special teams, yeah. Robbie. Yeah, absolutely. Three facets of the game. Yeah. One of them can beat you. I'm telling you. 
Looks like East Gaston players lined up offside. He is. Yeah, he sure like is. Lined up offside. Let's see if they get him. Uh, they don't. So Mooney's back. He's got time. Now flushed. Extends the play. Let's it go. Into traffic. Overshot him incomplete. So incomplete as he was looking for Surratt again. It'll bring up second down and 10. So it looks like 77's coming off for Burns. Hopefully he's okay as Gage Bowman looked like he was holding his side a little bit. And it is second down, 10. And here comes, I believe that's uh, Surratt coming back into the game. And Johnny Johnson getting some instructions from Coach Diamond. So it, you feel like, though, Robbie, you have to score on every possession. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's one of those games right yeah. now. You know, you have to score on every possession. So is it going to be a screen pass? It isn't, and Mooney's in trouble, and he lets it go. Was there a receiver in the area? Yeah, he's going to get away with it, but that's another incomplete pass. And Burns in danger of having to punt this football unless they can convert a third and long. Yeah, it's kind of concerned they're just about to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they could have. Uh, I wasn't sure which receiver was in the area, but incomplete. Third down, ten. Big play here. We talked about the first team that could get that first stop, Tom, and this is a big play here for the Burns offense. Yeah, it's a huge play. Third down, ten. Mooney's in the gun. He'll roll to his right, roll to his right, let it go, and is it caught? It is. Let's see if they're going to give it to him. They are. Wow. Tight ropes to sideline to the 36-yard line, and that is a gain of 16 yards in a Faustin Pharmacy first down. What a throw. Yeah, great throw, great catch on the far side. Was that line. Warlick who caught it? So that was Warlick who caught it. He's, he's been walking the tight rope all night long. So it is first down 10 from the 36. And now Mooney's in the gun again. Two wide receivers left, one to the right. And he barks out the signal, he'll have it. Norris gonna try the left side, through a little crease, still on his feet, spins, makes another man miss, still on his feet, still on his feet, falls forward to the 29 yard line. So, excuse me, to the 24-yard line, give him 12 yards and a Faustin Pharmacy first down. And you see Norris come out revved up after that great run there. I tell you what, he's, he's finally saying, man, ain't nobody going to say I got negative yards. <laughs> so Burns, again, trying to get another playoff before the quarter ends. And now it looks like, is he casting offside? They're going to call a fly. Okay, they're going to call a, a penalty. Thank you. <laughs> to go wide for that one to come out. <laughs> yeah, that's a camper's in penalty of five yards. So that'll move the ball first down in five, and I think the clock restarts on the whistle. It does. So I don't think they're going to get the playoff, so we're going to go into the break. It is crunch time, 35, 34. We'll be right back. Leaves have already started to fall. Are you ready for leaf season this year? Get ready with a stop in at Hojo Power Sports in Shelby and take a look at a leaf sucking machine. That's the Walker Mower, famous for leaf pickup for residential or commercial lawns. With a Walker, your yard will look clean and fresh. Plus, you'll find blowers by Husqvarna, Red Max, Shadawa, and DeWalt. Make leaf season here with a new Walker Mower from Hojo Power Sports. 110 Greg Street, off South Lafayette Street in Shelby, online at hojopower.net. The baby chicks are in at Parker Family Feed in Bellwood. Come get your baby chicks now. They also have rabbits, too, and they carry all of your livestock food. Check out their new line of porch swings, and they have fall decorations, including pumpkins, big, beautiful mums, and bales of straw. Get your rye grass, Kentucky 31 grass seed, lime, and fertilizer at Parker Family Feed. 121 Carpenters Grove Church Road of Highway 18 North in Bellwood. Like them on Facebook, too. All right, so some of our cheerleaders showing you uh, who they're dedicating their pink night to. It is pink night here at Burns. I know my wife's had her breast cancer scares. A lot of 
folks around here have, you know, not just breast cancer, but all kinds. We've mentioned uh, Tom and Kim Inowitz. Wish them the, the best. Wish Kim a speedy recovery. Yeah, my, she's my, okay. My wife's mom went through that battle, ended up losing it. She didn't let cancer beat her, though. She, she fought all the way to the end, and, and like you said, you know, in honor to, and, and in memory of those folks that, who, who, who are continue to fight the battle, those who have fought the battle, so important. You, it is. It is. So just whenever you can. I bought a couple of those pink night shirts. Money goes for, you know, to help raise money to mm -hmm. find cures. Mooney, quarterback keeper, follows blockers, hit hard, falls forward. Uh, they're going to give him about four, third down and one. Excuse me, second and one. Well, I'm sorry, it was yeah, first and yeah, five. I'm one. sorry. Yeah, after that offside. Yeah. So off to the offside. Yeah, I was getting ready to say, wait a minute, that was right. That wasn't second and five. It was first and five. So Mooney takes a pretty good shot there. I tell you what. It's a, Cheryl's not going to get all the action getting hit tonight. He said he's going to get in the on it, too. Both these quarterbacks take some licks and keep on going. They're going to sleep well tonight. I can remember getting here at driver's ed early in the morning, and there'd be Mooney walking in the weight room. So, I mean, you know, these these men, they don't realize the, the, the work they get to get their bodies in shape for this. Mooney, Absolutely. screen pass. I think it's Johnny Johnson's got a first down, and he's got more. He's to the seven-yard line uh, from the 15. Give him eight, and that's a Falston Pharmacy first down. Yeah, I like that play call. No, play call, no hesitation coming out with it. So that's another first down. That's a third first down of this drive. So the eight-yard line, I gave him seven, Joe. Okay. And it is first down and goal. And as I said, Robbie, you just feel like you have to You've score. Got to score. Absolutely. You have to score every possession. Clock moves. It's inside 11 minutes, and it's going to be Norris. Picks his way, makes a man miss. Fighting, fighting, still fighting. Is he in? He's down at the one-yard line. Give him six yards. It'll be sec give him seven yards, second down and goal. That's a tough run. Man. That was a very tough run. So I tell you what, you know, Norris, not the biggest guy in the world, but I'm going to tell you, I don't want to tackle him. I mean, he just, when he hits you, man, he delivers uh, a blow. Reminds me of Darius Ramsey when he was here. Oh, man, yeah. You know, yeah. he could, wasn't the biggest guy in the world, but I'm telling you, man, he hits you, man. He hits you like a brick, man. Yeah, that's a good comparison. I like that. I mean, the way he runs, just hard, not afraid of contact. Second down goal from the one. And you're, you're right. They never go under center, do they? And Mooney's going to keep it into the end zone for the numbers. Bookkeeping touchdown. Burns back in front, 40 to 35. And I would say the Neyland Cole conversion will be a two-point conversion. Yeah, it looks like we may have a Burns player down, it looks like. Okay, so we'll step away. We'll be right back. It's time to power up. Power up with Skag Power Equipment powered by Vanguard from Ellie's Supply Company in Polkville. The Vanguard is now available on the Skag Tiger Cat and the Skag Patriot models. See the Skag Tiger Cat 52 inch mower with Vanguard 810cc 28 horsepower EFI engine or the Skag Patriot available in 52 and 61 inch cuts with the Vanguard 810cc 26 horsepower engines. Power up with the Skag from Ellie Supply Company, Highway 182 in Polkville, online at elliesupplyinc.com. Hey, Bulldog fans, it's Jennifer here from Wright Jewelry in Boston, number one shop for all of your jewelry and gift giving needs. Our showcases are full of plastic and fashion forward designs. I do have to say they're pretty incredible as I pick them out myself. Don't forget to come see me for all of your custom designs and engagement ring needs. Visit us, 4911 Boston Road, Boston. Shop us 24-7 online and follow us on social media, Right Story Store. If you need fireworks for your event, then call on Contracted Pyrotechnics and talk with Dustin Ledford today. They are the bomb. Dustin is a graduate of Burns High School and supplies all the fireworks you've seen at the Burns High School football games. 
If your town or organization needs fireworks, call Dustin Ledford today at 704-473-1996. That's 704-473-1996. Have a party, have a blast with contracted pyrotechnics. It's truck season at Marburger Chevrolet in Shelby. Come see the new 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 Crew Cab RST. Get 0% APR financing for well-qualified buyers, plus no monthly payments for 90 days when you finance with GM Financial. Plus get a $750 cash allowance. Or make every day a getaway with the new 2023 Chevy Equinox. Get 2.1% APR financing for well-qualified buyers or take $1,250 cash allowance. Get yours today at Barburger Chevrolet, 200 West Dixon Boulevard, Shelby. Well, good sign is I believe Kayvon Bonner came off under his own power. Yeah, I think somebody may just landed on top of him. It looked like so yeah. maybe the wind knocked out of him. Good to see him up walking around and okay. All right, so Burns up five. This is a huge Nealon Cole two-point conversion. So Mooney's in the gun. This could make it a touchdown and extra point. Mooney's going to try, and he's in. Mooney's run is good. So Nealon uh, Cole conversion good. We'll be right back. Drivers, start your engines! Start your engine of savings at Camper's Inn in Kings Mountain. Race on in now during the Camper's Inn 500. Over 500 units have been discounted for year-end savings. It's the best time of the year to buy. Don't make a pit stop elsewhere. Head to the finish line of savings at Camper's Inn in Kings Mountain during the Camper's Inn 500. Camper's Inn, 615 South Broadway off Highway 161 South at I-85 in Kings Mountain. Online at Camper's Inn backslash kingsmountain.com. Like them on Facebook, too. Today, having choices at the end of life's journey is more important than ever. Choosing the proper way to honor a loved one is not an easy task. There are many emotional, personal, and spiritual issues to consider. Now, there is a new alternative to traditional burial and flame-based cremation. Fidel's Aquamation is a water-based natural process that gently returns your loved one's remains to their natural ash form. Learn more at stamytysigerfuteralhome.com or drop by their offices in Falston and in Cherryville. All right, we're back to MJ's Pizza Factory kickoff coming up. Mooney's two-point conversion puts Burns up seven, 42-35. And I tell you what, if you like offense, you're at the right place. This is your night. Johnny Johnson gets his foot into the ball, and it's going to be caught at the 15, 20. There he goes again. Oh, I tell you what, McDowell almost broke it, and there was i uh, I'm not sure who got him. Who's that? Dick Goodson got him. And I tell you what, it was going to be, he was looked like he might still be running. Yeah, it was another one of those dangerous returns, a good tackle there to stop him before he could get any more momentum going. Drive recap for Burns, 10 plays, 426 off the clock, 65 yards. Mooney had the one-yard run and the two-point conversion. 42-35, Burns back in front. We talked about the one stop. Can you get it here if you're the Burns defense? Let's see what they do. Four-man front. It's like two linebackers, four DBs. Or three linebackers, excuse me. Now they got more guys around the line of scrimmage. And it's going to be Brown, and they get him. And I tell you what, maybe they, they feel challenged at this point because I'm telling you, Brown is eating them alive. Yes. And that's a run of, that's negative one, a tackle for loss. This is really, I mean, you got to man up. You know, football will test your manhood. Yes. And at this point, you need to man up and stop the run. They did on first down. They got a one-yard loss. Second down, 11. Cheryl going to throw it out in the flat, incomplete. So here we go, Tom. We talked about the, can you get the one big stop to try to extend the lead with the lead? Right. Huge third down play here for the Burns defense. I would not put it past East Gaston to take two cracks at it here. I'm not saying it, they will. I'm saying with their inability really to get off the field, that may be considered. Three wide receivers left. This is huge. Huge play for both teams. 16 on the play clock. Cheryl's checking the note card. 
Now he's got his guys lined up. Everybody's on the left side of the field. Cheryl rolls that way, still rolling, lets it go, knocked away, and incomplete. And that's Johnny Johnson. And that's a quick three and out. And I'll tell you what, you couldn't have scripted a better defensive series for the Bulldogs. And give Marshall McGowan a lot of credit. He was the one bringing the pressure on Cheryl there at the quarterback spot. Okay, so that's your stop. There it is. You got the stop. Now, now you have a chance to get it in favorable field position and go down and get yourself another touchdown. But I tell you what, now East Gaston's going to have to challenge their defense. Yes. You know, Burns challenged theirs and three plays minus one. I'm telling you, though, I, I don't agree with the play selection there. I'm still going to run the football if I'm East Gaston. And that's going to be a good Leave kick. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. It's going to roll dead at the 44. So Burns will take it on their own 44-yard line. So favorable field position. Only up a touchdown, though. So I would say to be comfortable, you need to take three minutes off the clock and I have was, another score. I was thinking three to four minutes. Yeah, three yeah. to four minutes off the clock and another score. And then you're in a lot better shape. So let's see if they can build some momentum. I mean, I'm I going to tip my cap to the, to the Burns defense. I've been on them all night. And that was a big stop. So Mooney's in the gun. Two wide receivers left, one to the right. Calls out the signals, has it. Norris picks his way, makes a man miss. Look at him drive the I body. Like that. Not a big guy, but I tell you what, you don't want to tackle him. The legs never stop. And he's always helping another guy up. You know, he's just, just he's just like, sorry, I drug you three yards. Let me help you back up. It's something to keep an eye on. Tom. Are we starting to see a little bit of rain fall out there? Well, they said, you know, your your school canceled their game for Friday. They did move to Thursday. Let's see Thursday. if they ended up being smart. So that is a run of eight for Jeremiah Norris. Or to give him seven, Joe. I tell you what, I'm trying to give him early Christmas present, an extra yard. But... So it's double wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Mooney has got it, and he's going to keep it. Got a crease, got a first down. Don't fumble, he doesn't. Okay, falls forward. I like it. Give him five yards and a Falston Pharmacy first down. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking let's, if you're going to score, don't do it too quick. Go ahead and let's run some clock. <sighs> So the clock will wind under eight minutes. Wright's Jewelry Scoreboard, 42-35. You're listening to Burns Football, brought to you by West End Sales. Robbie Roop here with me tonight. Matt Royster, you're missing a good one. Yes, you are. I appreciate it, so, man. <laughs> <laughs> so it is 42-35, moves to 7.30 on the clock. Norris again, makes a man miss, there he goes, 30, he's breaking free, 10, 5, touchdown, Jeremiah Norris, and that may be the cap, there's still a lot of time left, Tom, a 44 yard touchdown, what about that step back in that run, oh man, it was awesome, <laughs> what a run by Jeremiah Norris. And that makes it 48-35 on your Wright's Jewelry scoreboard. If you've ever seen a basketball player take a step-back jumper, that's what it looked like he was fixing to do. I'll tell you what. But in this time of the game, people get tired. And i tell you what, I'm tired of uh, tackling Jeremiah Norris, yes. and I'm in the booth. So, I mean, it's just like you just get tired. Here he comes again. Here he comes again. And it's going to be Drew Dixon for the Neyland Cole extra point after that numbers bookkeeping touchdown. And extra point up, extra point good, 49-35. We'll be right back. Buying a home can seem like a daunting task, but it's really not with Homestar Financial. With a short phone call, we can get you pre-approved. Once pre-approved, you're free to shop for the home of your dreams. At Homestar Financial, we can tell you the price or payment range that you qualify for. Your realtor will appreciate that you took the time to get pre-approved. So call me today. Let's make buying a home a dream come true. With Homestar Financial, it's quick and easy with no surprises at closing. Call today. Shelby's CarQuest Parts Store is Shelby Auto Plus CarQuest. Locally owned and operated. 
See Charles and Beth Cabanas, Lathan Queen, and Lisa McKinney for all of your auto parts needs. And Shelby Auto Plus Car Quest is your hydraulic hose headquarters. Also fittings to custom made hoses. They want to help you with all of your automotive parts needs. Shelby Auto Plus Car Quest, 409 North Washington Street in Shelby. Give them a call today at 704-482-2468, your CarQuest Auto Parts store. All right, so after that three-play drive, that went 56 yards and only took, though, about 137 off the clock. Oh, the, the kickoff is fumbled. And I tell you what, yeah, that was close to a penalty. Yeah, look at what no flag there. Well, the ball was out, so I guess you have to give him the benefit of the doubt. But 723 left to go as that last drive was only a minute and 37 yeah. seconds. That's the only thing is Norris goes in from 44 yards out and that makes it 49 to 35 after the kick was good. So I'll tell you what, Drew Dixon, what a, what a great job he's done tonight. Yeah, he's had a great night yep. kicking the ball. Yeah, the only one they didn't get, uh, well, was a bad snap. It was a snap. bad snap, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a bad snap. Triple wide receiver's right, and let's see Cheryl now with his back against the wall. He's gotta do something on this drive, it's do or die, and it's thrown out in the flat and dropped. Now, this is what you talked about, Robbie. Now you have to really do it when it matters. Yes. And that makes it a lot tougher. And that's an incomplete pass there. And I tell you what, this East Gaston Warrior team has played their tails off. I think they're just getting a little wore down here, you know? Yeah. Yeah, just absolutely. Just a little wore down. And it's four-man front for Burns. And I will say, Burns... Have stepped it up when they absolutely had to. Cheryl, back, got time, fires, picked off. That's going to be a pick six. Ten, five, touchdown. There's the capper, Robbie Roop. There you go again. You force the team into doing yeah. some things they're not comfortable with. That's Johnny Johnson. Is that Johnny Johnson? Johnny Johnson picks it off and runs it in for the touchdown. And that right there, Chase, you're going to start seeing tail lights on the other side. What a finish to this game by the Burns Bulldogs. Yeah, I'm going to say that was about a 20. What'd you give him, Joe? Did you see where he picked it off? I'm going to have to go back and look at the film. What's that? 35 yard touchdown. The interception return that put the cap on this game. 55 35 as East Gaston is trying to run another guy on the field. Drew Dixon's kneeling Cole extra point up. And good after that numbers bookkeeping touchdown, 56 to 35. We'll be right back. Nobody does it better. Yes, when it comes to real estate, nobody does it better than Sherry Horn of Sherry Horn Real Estate. Sherry was voted the best real estate agent and best real estate office in Cleveland County. If you're in the market to buy or sell your home, talk with Sherry Horn at Sherry Horn Real Estate. Call 704 915 5450 or visit her website at soulbysherry.com and like her on Facebook too and you'll see why nobody does it better. Triad Corrugated Metal in Lincoln is this area's headquarters for premium metal roofing and supplies and now just arrived square tubing from metal carports and metal buildings. Give them a call at 980-429-2278 for pricing and sizes and they have a wide variety of colors. Visit the website at triadcorrugatedmetal.com. And like them on Facebook, too. Triad Corrugated Metal, 108 Industrial Park Road in Lincoln. <laughs> so, Jam Jay's Pizza Factory kickoff coming up after the Johnny Johnson returns to pick off for the numbers bookkeeping touchdown. Drew Dixon's Neyland Cole extra point good. Rice Jewelry scoreboard, 56-35, as this one popped up into the air, caught at the 28, and then immediately dropped. And that was number eight, and that is Omarion Pryor. And so East Gaston will take it first down and 10 from their own 
31 yard line. And it's amazing to me too, Tom, when you start getting this separation, what you start doing as a team, you start getting there a little faster, you start hitting a little right, bit harder, right, and, right, and right. you saw it there on that coverage for, for, the, for Burns. So check that 33 yard line. And I mean, it's not over. I've seen crazier things, but if you're Burns, <laughs> yeah. Hey, ask me. You, see, you need to take a knee. <laughs> we, see, we see some cars pulling out. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you were right, the tail lights. We see the tail lights leaving. But you do hate to see that. And that's Brown, and there uh -oh. he goes, and he's gone. He's gone. They're not going to catch him. I'm going to catch him. And that is a 67 yard touchdown. Jeez. For Brown, and that's got to get fixed. That has got to get fixed if you're Burns. And that, he's already had a 71 yard touchdown. And there's a 67 yard touchdown. They have to have close to at least 300 yards on the Absolutely. Ground. Did the battery go out? All right. So, sideline Zach done for the night. And I'm just going to tell you, Robbie, it's just, that's got to get fixed. I mean, it's just, that has happened too many times. So that's another numbers bookkeeping touchdown. Neyland Cole extra point up. Abernathy's Neyland Cole extra point. Good, they pull them too. It's not over. It is 56 to 42. We'll be right back. Teresi Racing wants to wish the Burns Bulldogs good luck during this year's football season. Teresi Power Sports is your go-to for ATV and UTV parts, service, and accessories. And Teresi is nationally recognized for building race engines and suspensions. They also perform race bike builds. Stop in today and see Santo and Heather Teresi. These people know what they're doing, and they're located at 4225 Paulston Road in Shelby. Or find them online at www.dereceracing.com. Call them at 704-538-3512. Hey, I'm Joey Logano, and if you're looking for affordable, quality equipment, James River delivers. Whether you're mowing your lawn, hauling material, or baling hay, James River has the John Deere mowers, tractors, gator utility vehicles, and implements you need to get it done fast. Plus, with low rate financing and big cash rebates, James River makes owning a John Deere just as easy to operate. Request a quote online at jamesriverequipment.com. James River delivers affordable quality. Hmm, so this is interesting. We see Ben Mooney back deep. I guess because they're planning on an onside. An onside kick. I don't think Ben Mooney's going to be returning a kickoff. And they pop it up, and let's see if Ben goes up there and gets it. He does. <laughs> I guess we know why he's out there now. Hell uh, yeah. Mm. And so Ben will cover it up. But, you know, pretty effective special teams play is with 6.52 left to go. Burns will take it on their own 24-yard line. Now, you got to be careful here because if you have a quick three and out That's and right. punt it back and then East Gaston gets, I mean, they've shown a lot of ability. You know, I, I thought that was the capper there, but I may have spoke too soon. I thought a three-score lead with seven minutes to go would be plenty, but not when the East Gaston struck quickly like that. You know, you had two solid defensive series in a row, mm -hmm. too, you know? So we've got, uh, I think that's, uh, is that still Norris? He's it got it, picks his way. And I tell you what, he's starting to get chunks, Robbie. So that is a run. Your best friend right now is that oh, clock. Just oh, wanted yeah. to keep running. Yeah, you definitely want to keep it running. You know, I just, <laughs> it's been, They've had some really good series and forced some three and outs, and they've had some really horrible yeah. defensive breakdowns, man. Yeah, they were, you know, these guys were able to run one play and score. Yeah, we're moving in on the three hour mark for this game. This game started at 7 30, and it is already 10 09. Long game. <laughs> we got spoiled on those shorter <laughs> That's ones. Right. Got a little spoiled. And it's Norris again, slips down. Oh, he just That's lost his footing on that one. his footing, he'll lose too. And now you're third and five, Robbie. Big, big play. Yep. So he lost two, and I'm going to call this third and four. So 
you know, if you're East Gaston, if you stop him here, you're going to get the ball back with about four minutes, and it's only taking you about ten seconds yeah. to score a touchdown. I believe East Gaston still holds all three timeouts. Uh, then you're back within a score. And I, I tell you, I feel open mouth, insert foot. <laughs> you know, I, that was the capper. You're up 21 in the fourth quarter with about seven minutes to go. This thing's over. Uh, you just never know in high school football, man. You just never that's know in what, high school football. That's what football. makes it fun. Yeah, that's what makes it fun. Are they offside? No, we got a timeout burn, so we'll take it with them. We'll be right back. Fall is here, and Main Street Hardware in Lydell is everything you'll need for the cooler weather months. All types of heaters are in stock now, plus a huge stock of red mountain and price to sell. Hedgers, trimmers, weed eaters, and more. Check out the new line of outdoor furniture that you got to see. It's not not too late to aerate and reseed, and Main Street Hardware has seed, straw, and pine needles too. And of course, Main Street has all you need for projects around the house. See them today, Main Street Hardware, 356 Main Street in Lindale, and like them on Facebook too. Go Bulldogs! Local, scratch made, and delicious food right there in Boston. It's Johnny Ray Smokehouse. The menu is loaded with delicious slow smoke barbecue, brisket, burgers, salads, plus Friday night is rib night. And be sure you start off your meal with their famous fried cheese curds. They're out of this world. Stop by today, John Ray Smokehouse, 4629 Boston Road, Highway 18. Open 11 to 8 Wednesday and Thursday, 11 to 9 Friday and Saturday, 11 to 9 on Sunday. Like them on Facebook too. All right, we're back. Big play here. And uh, Barbara, thanks for listening. Uh, Barbara Murray listens every single week. She's been a sponsor of some of our playoff games. We appreciate you. Could use you to come back and teach a little math, Barbara. <laughs> Third down and four. And snap goes back. Mooney's got it. He's got time. He's got time. Gets out of a sack. It's going to be a hold. And he's going to fall forward for a yard. They'll decline that penalty. And I think we have a warrior down, so we'll step away. Bay Out of Home Health Care continues to grow. And because of this growth, they are in need of new employees. CB Auto Home Healthcare and join their growing team of healthcare professionals with immediate opportunities in Gaston, Lincoln, and Cleveland counties. And they take all safety precautions possible with an experienced trained staff. Just call 704 669 4000 or visit the website at bayada.com. Bayada Home Healthcare. They love what they do. Since 19. 19- 1968, Putnam Distributors in Patterson Springs has been serving this area with a full line of automotive products, including oils, transmission fluids, antifreeze, filters, chemicals, parts, and supplies for all types of automobiles and trucks, with many brands to choose from. They sell to individuals or wholesale. Just visit the walk-in counter. Putnam Distributors, 1626 Peterson Drive off Highway 180 south of Shelby. Call 704-487-9395 or visit the website at putnamdistributors.com. Putnam Distributors in Patterson Springs, offering quality automotive parts and supplies for over 50 years. Oliver's Hardware and Garden Center is not just a hardware store, but a real general store carrying items like feed and seed, hay, pine needles, and straw. Also, case knives, grove line, belts, Ash County cheese, Guernsey milk, Hunter's liver mush and many more unique items not found in your typical hardware store. They've got it all at Oliver's Hardware, 3712 Faustin Road, between Faustin and Shelby, or online at oliversharware.com. Oliver's Hardware highly supports the Burns football team and wishes them good luck for a great season. On the go quick lube in Faustin is not just oil changes, they have tires for all cars, with names like GT Radio, Hankook, and Toyo plus interstate batteries and wiper blades. Of course, they do oil changes, featuring Castro, Motorcraft, and Rotella diesel oil, and they carry diesel truck fuel filters. Plus, they are an official North Carolina inspection station. For quick service with competitive pricing and professional technicians, head over to On The Go Quick Loop today. 3716 Boston Road, Highway 18 North of Shelby, and go Burns. All right, we're back. Uh, Campers in penalty holding against the Bulldogs. Decline. Clock now runs. It'll be under four. It'll be under five. And I do want to give a shout out to Floyd Williams and Angela Tony listening from Emerald Isle. Thanks for listening. And they're wondering where Matthew is. I am also wondering where Matthew is. 
He's probably on a beach somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. So he'll be back next week for the game at Cherryville. Thomas Jefferson and Cherryville are in overtime. And we've got and it's a timeout for Burns, so we'll take it with him. For nearly 50 years, the K family at Numbers Bookkeeping and Income Tax Service have been taking care of your bookkeeping and income tax needs in Shelby, Cleveland County, and the surrounding area. They feature a staff of enrolled agents and registered tax return preparers to make sure you get every advantage you deserve. That's Numbers Bookkeeping and Income Tax Service, 707 South Off East Street in Shelby. Give them a call at 704-484-2783. Online at numbersofshelby.com. They are there for you. It's time to get ready for flu season with a stop in at Medical Center Pharmacy in Cherryville and the Falston Pharmacy in Falston. Flu shot in. Drop by at your convenience and get your flu shot from a qualified technician. Stay healthy this winter and check with them for all your prescription needs. And both have a convenient drive through window. That's Medical Center Pharmacy, 607 East Academy Street, Cherryville, and the Falston Pharmacy on Highway 18 North in Falston. We're back. We want to thank Dylan, Jenna, and Emma Scholl for watching the game at home. Thank you, the Scholl family. Here it's four minutes, 43 seconds left to go, and I was breathing easy. And my blood pressure went down, but yes. it's back up yes, now, it's Robbie. It's starting to creep back up now, Tom. See Mooney slow getting up, and then we have to punt. Johnny Johnson's punt high, bounces at about the 43, and it's a sandwich. It'll stay right there. So, you know, if you're East Gaston, you know, you, you, you got a three and out. You're down two scores. You've shown the ability to score on any play. Tom, I think it was a while back I said a possible final of 56-49. Oh, it might be there. <laughs> it might be there. Then we'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> need to head need to head down to the casino and check out the sports uh, if I hit this one. You know, I gave up on it. I, I used to wander into the casino by accident every now and then, but... I don't anymore. <laughs> 27 years of teaching will make you realize your luck has run out. Absolutely. And it's Cheryl, shotgun, under pressure, somehow gets away, and he's free. Again, running free, down and tackled hard at the 41-yard line. I tell you what, give him nine, give him 16 yards, but he paid for it, Robbie. Yeah, he got hit hard. He's able to up and get, up. And get ready to go again, but... You know, a little, little slower that time. This time, 16 yards in a Falston Pharmacy first down. I'm telling you, if they if they're able to punch it in with three minutes or less, mm. and I'll tell you what, Cheryl's hurting a little bit, but he's a gamer. He is a true warrior, no pun intended. And they're going to give it to He's going to keep it again. Why would you have him keep it again? What is the coach thinking? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand the what play. What are you call. doing to that kid? Great play. You the just first saw him against. get chopped down. Come on. Call a timeout or something. He loses six. Ah, I just don't agree with that unless he called his own number. I hope the kid's okay. I mean, they was... And he's, mean, over, he's over at the sidelines now, and he is hurting. And we'll have a timeout. timeout. We'll be right back. For nearly 50 years, the K family at Numbers Bookkeeping and Income Tax Service have been taking care of your bookkeeping and income tax needs in Shelby, Cleveland County, and the surrounding area. They feature a staff of enrolled agents and registered tax return preparers to make sure you get every advantage you deserve. That's Numbers Bookkeeping and Income Tax Service, 707 South Lafayette Street in Shelby. Give them a call at 704-484-2783. Online at numbersofshelby.com. They are there for you. It's time to get ready for flu season with a stop in at Medical Center Pharmacy in Cherryville and the Falston Pharmacy in Falston. Flu shots are now in. Buy at your convenience and get your flu shot from a qualified technician. Stay healthy this winter and check with them for all your prescription needs and both have a convenient drive-through window. That's Medical Center Pharmacy, 
607 East Academy Street, Cherryville, and the Falston Pharmacy on Highway 18 North in Falston. All right, after that timeout, I felt like they should have called the timeout after he took the hard hit on the previous and, play. And I tell you, I think they had to take it because had they not had been an injury timeout, he would have had to have left the field for a right. play. So I think they did take the timeout, and Cheryl stays out there. Okay, I tell you what, the kid's a gamer. Second down, 16, as he's got it. He's rolling back. He's under a little pressure. He lets it go. Man's out there. Overshot him by a yard. That was very nearly a touchdown. Wow. I tell you what, Burns better be careful. As they look to have this thing sewed up, they were up three scores with about eight minutes left. Yeah. That's the one thing about high school football. One word, unpredictable. It, 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 can, it can switch oh, man, on the dime. It's, you, it's amazing. I'll tell you, man, but 16, 17, 18-year-old kids. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You just never know, man. Third down 16, or they're calling it 15. And Cheryl has got it. He's back, fires, and it looked like he was trying to throw the receiver open, you know, like he was wanting to come back to that yeah. space. Yeah. And just misfired a little bit, but now this is basically your last gasp if you're East Gaston. And you got to wonder, too, too, Tommy, you know, he just threw two passes after being shaken up. Yeah. So, you know, is he... Still a little wobbly back there, too. So I'm just, tell, I'm just telling you, man. That, that kid, I tell you what, somebody needs to buy that kid a cheeseburger and a Coke. That's right. He's earned it. It is fourth down and 15. Fourth down, 15. Cheryl's got it. He's back. He looks. He's in trouble. He slips through. He extends the play. Incomplete. So that was basically the ball game, Robbie. So I know he's guessing with two timeouts left. Okay. okay. I said it was the ball right. game. I might yeah, be I wrong. I don't know if there's – Okay. With Burns getting the ball three minutes, or are there, is there two scores still out there for East Gaston? Well, you know, there, there could be. Remember the old Joe Pisarchik play where the Giants fumbled and – That's true. And Herm Edwards, of all people, scoops it up and scores for the Eagles. I guess I'm dating myself with that play. If you remember when Herm Edwards played, you're probably <laughs> old. <laughs> you're probably dating yourself. So it is 56 to 42, three minutes, 18 seconds left to go. Old Herm was at Arizona State, wasn't he? He was. I think they ran him off there. They did. did. Bless his heart. <laughs> so it is three minutes, 18 seconds left to go. And that's going to be a procedure penalty against Burns. The lay of game. The lay of game. So that's a campers in five-yard penalty. And I tell you what, it's like I know a lot of people are trying to say, hey, can we just kind of just get this thing in, you know? So, oh. Uh, and I tried to get, and it's going to be Mooney. He's going to keep it himself, and he makes one man miss, falls forward, maybe gets four to be second down and 11. So Mooney with the run of four, and uh, I guess my plea for uh, Barbara Murray to come back and teach has fallen on deaf ears. She said <laughs> no. Nope. And I'll tell you, Barbara, I've been at this, you might not believe, because you probably first remember when I got to Burns. I've been at this 27, 28 years now. <laughs> and I understand the feeling. <laughs> Second down 11. And it's Mooney going to give it. Norris makes a man miss. I slipped out of his shoes. Give him about five. Third down and what I'm going to call it six. Uh, so Burns, yep, they're going to third down six, maybe third down seven. Clock winds 220. Burns is going to improve to six and two on the year. East Gaston will fall to seven and one. But I think, and that's going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct. I'm telling you, Burns is just, I don't know, what are we doing, guys? 
you just can't have it. You know what I mean? I, I know that the game's probably decided two scores with two minutes left to go, but, but guys. Yeah, that was, those, you, those yeah just you can't, you can't do it. it. I mean, you just can't do it. You just, you just can't do it. And that's 20 yards and penalties against Burns. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you've had your chances to sew this thing up. Guys, let's sew this thing up. Let's get the heck out of here, you know? Don't, don't, don't give them any uh, breath of life. I'm just telling you, man. It's just, you know, but it's it's teenage boys, you know. I mean, it's just the, you know, it's a cliche. Boys will be boys, but it's true. And sometimes it's tough to keep your emotions in check, especially. I mean, you know, seems like a long time ago because it was. But Burns was down 14 nothing right. in this game. Absolutely. 14 nothing. Since then, they've doubled them up 56-28. And now we're just, uh, I guess these referees don't want to go home. <laughs> it's like, I've refereed a lot of ball games. I'm telling you what, when that horn sounds, I'm going to my luxury salvage BMW and getting out of Dodge. So we've got the clock running again. It's 2 14 and counting, and Burns will take this thing under two minutes. I mean, they're going to just probably run the ball up the middle and punt, Robbie. Yeah. I, I mean, you so. know, that's what I think they're going to do here. So, Mooney has got it, and he's going to throw it. Nope, nope, he's going to go for it all. I'm wrong. And he's got Johnny Johnson who dives and can't get to it. Incomplete. Surprising. I did not expect uh, that. So they still hold... Two timeouts. Yeah, I'd have run the ball, made him use a timeout. Maybe not with a one score lead, but with two, I definitely yep, would have. I would have had to. Yeah. Because we've seen uh, some success on some punt returns yeah, tonight, too. We have. But uh, Johnny Johnson, in the punt for Burns, standing at his own 19 yard line. And in comes Landon Dover. I'll tell you what, it's always, it's always confusing. Landon Dover going back. It seems like, and, and in comes Dewan Jolly, and it seems like no one ever knows who's on the punt team. So we've got a timeout. So we'll take it with them. There's excitement brewing at Classic Ford Lincoln in Shelby. There's some exciting new models that have arrived. Come see for yourself. Be sure to take a look at the new Ford Bronco Heritage. You're going to love it. Come see the Shelby Cobra 500 GT Mustang and the all-new Mustang Dark Horse, plus many pre-owned vehicles priced at under $10,000. Yes, excitement is the word with these great new models at Classic Ford Lincoln, 1775 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby, online at ClassicFordOfShelby.com. Built upon a solid foundation of cast iron and steel, the Kubota L-Series is part of our under 100 horsepower tractor lineup rated number one for reliability. They feature powerful Kubota diesel engines and easy operation. The durable Kubota L-Series. Talk to your local Kubota dealer today to schedule a demo. Go to KubotaUSA.com for full disclaimer. Your Kubota dealer is part of Farm Service. Located at 126 Bessie Drive on Oak Grove Road at the Highway 74 Bypass in Kings Mountain. So Johnny Johnson launches a missile. 16 plus, they're going to put up the 20, 46 yard punt, 47 yard punt. Ironically enough, my longest punt in my rather pedestrian career, <laughs> 57 yards against East Gaston. How about that? <laughs> I still have the newspaper clipping because they said if things weren't going bad enough for the Warriors, Tom Sinafani booms a 57 yard missile. <laughs> still have it. Still have it. 1991, I still have it. Uh, you know, but that's a football special, man. It's just, right. it's just special. You just hang on to it. And that's when East Gaston was 4A. That's right. A lot Dude, of changes. That's right. A lot of changes in 30 years. And the pass out in the flat, and it's Helms, and he is hammered. Good play. He is just buried by Bo Westbrook. And the clock will continue to run, and that is going to be a pass minus three. So on East Gaston's final drive, with a minute 16 left to go. 
Yeah, Tom, that was back in the days of that Tri-County 4A. You got yeah. to see so, quite a few athletes in that oh, conference. Oh, gosh. <laughs> West Charlotte, Harding, and a pass overthrown. Yeah, Brian Knuckles comes to Oh, mind. my goodness. He was a pretty good player. <laughs> not, when Tommy Knotts was at West Charlotte. Not yeah. too bad. He wasn't too bad. <laughs> West Mech. Yep. Yeah, they were pretty, you know, they had some athletes. Let's see, Harding, Olympic. Olympic. But, you know, uh, Gaston County's population has probably increased 30%, 40% at least yeah. since then. Absolutely. But they just got more schools, charter schools, private schools. Cherryville up 22-21 over Thomas Jefferson. Oh, Thank you, Calvin. Calvin. So hopefully Cherryville gets the win. Oh, it's a final. Thank you, Calvin. Cherryville defeats Thomas Jefferson. The pass, and it's caught, but going to be stopped short of a first down. Knocked out of bounds at about the 24-yard line, gain of seven. And it is third down, fourth down, and about seven. So after losing three on the first play, they get seven. So this one's over. As I said, Burns moves to six and two. East Gaston drops to seven and one. But as we'll explain here in a second, as Cheryl pumps the leg, has the football, drops back, scrambles, scrambles, still scambling. Marshall McGowan's got him. Marshall McGowan just ate his lunch. But it's going to be a penalty as they slammed him to the ground. I mean, it's just. <laughs> Ah, ah, that's, I'm not sure. I mean, like, Cheryl's fighting. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. I don't know about that. You know, I mean, it's just, he's fighting. Marshall's trying to fight him. That's a 6'3 guy going against a 6'4 guy, you know? I mean, what? Okay. So they give a hugs and hearts penalty there. I just don't agree with that. You know, and, I, and I'll say this. This Cheryl's been a gamer all night, but I just don't, I, I just think if you're going to struggle and fight and try to get away, you yeah. know. Uh, so they're going to get, oh, it's a spot foul. So that camper's in penalty against Burns. Gives the Falston Pharmacy first down. But I'm going to tell you what, man. I might just, just kneel down and you know, Cheryl's yeah, gonna live you know, to fight another yeah, day. Live to fight another day as he'll run, and he's still running. I tell you what, yeah, this kid, this kid is something. I, I'm gonna give this kid a lot of credit. And see, and and it's, it's just man, man, no, 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 no. This is not what we want. No. <laughs> see, man, it's just, man. I'm just. And, and you this, know, yeah, yeah, this is not good. Is there, know, especially if there's ejections on this one, Tom. I mean, it's just. I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, what's the point? I mean, it's just the game's over. I'm not. I'm not sure on what they're gonna do or who's gonna be ejected. It's gonna take a while to sort this one out. But I mean, it's just. I guess I got mixed feelings there. I'm not sure I agreed with the personal foul. You have a chance to end the game. You extend the game. That's it. I mean, it, it just, I mean you, you got to be ready to move you, on. You, and, you're going to put your players in jeopardy like that? I mean, I just don't I just don't agree with the play calling of East Gaston there. I'm not putting my quarterback in danger there. I mean, it's just the game's over. It's not. I think this game is over. I don't think they're going to play. I don't think they're going to run another play. I'm not sure they got the policeman out there. I mean, this is just, I'm just not, uh, I'm just not sure how, how can you decide anything in that mob of humanity over yeah, there? Yeah, I, I get, if anything, an ejection would be if Burns guy throws a punch or if an East Gaston player leaves the bench area. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be the... Yeah, but, you know, East Caston's got Shelby next week. You yeah. got Shelby next week. Absolutely. So why are you putting your quarterback in danger there when you got Shelby? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. 
I mean, I hate to I hate to criticize a coach, but I'm gonna criticize that coach. You're putting that kid in a lot of danger, man. I just don't agree with what you're doing. So, so the official conversation, they can. Yeah. It looks like is, is, are both head coaches gonna. They're gonna call the game. They're gonna call the game. And that's what Mooney's telling. Just shut up and stay on the sideline. Yeah, just stay. I mean, shut up and stay on the sideline. And that's leadership from Ben Mooney. Shut up and stay here. That's what he's telling him. And that's what he needs to tell him. And there's our administration on the field. And I don't think there needs to be a handshake either. I mean, it's just, it's gotten out of hand. And like I say, I just don't, I don't agree. I know it was a hard tackle and he wrestled him to the ground. I just I think if that penalty doesn't get called, Burns comes out, kneels down, it's over. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, if somebody jumped on him when he's down, he got no choice, but he wrestled him to the ground. I mean, I know, like I said, I know it was a hard tackle. It's a hard tackle. But, uh, but I'm telling you, there's Coach Gibson and uh, uh, Mr. Beaver, Ms. Aberley, the rest of them are there on the field trying to, trying to get a hold of this thing. Yeah, like you said, I mean, it, it just depends on, on what has gone on. It can impact next week's games. I mean. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. So a long discussion continues there midfield between the two coaches. Yeah, that's over. And everybody's going their separate ways. And Tom, we won't know now really what you know if there were any ejections. Yeah, I'm saying don't eject any of those East Gaston players. It's right on the sideline. I don't know if anybody threw a punch. But I'm just telling you, that's an ugly way to end a very spirited football yeah, game. It was a fun game. It was a fun game. <sighs> yeah, the, <laughs> I, I don't want to be judged on the way I acted when I was 17 years old either. But right. you got to, you just got to, you got to keep it together, guys. You know, you get a guy thrown out, you're out two weeks. Guess what? You don't play against Shelby. You're East Gaston. You get a guy thrown out, you don't play against Shelby next week. Yeah. You know. Yeah. They got a puncher's chance to beat Shelby. Absolutely. All right, so Wright's Jewelry Scoreboard 56-42. We're going to bring you pretty quick post-game show brought to you by the uh, Stamey Tysinger Funeral uh, Funeral Home, Falston, North Carolina. We'll be right back. Once again, final score on your Wright's Jewelry Scoreboard 56-42. You've listened to Burns Football brought to you by West End Sales. Take your pick on a brand new Bobcat Moore from West End Sales in Vail. Pick 0% APR on financing for 60 months or get an $800 instant rebate. You just take your pick and pick out your new Bobcat Moore. Take a look at a Bobcat ZT2000, $500 instant cash rebate. A Bobcat ZT3000, $700 instant cash rebate. Or the Bobcat ZT3500 with an $800 instant rebate. See them today at Westin Sales, Highway 1827 Intersection in Vail, online at westinsales.com. Like them on Facebook, too. Trusted, tried, and true. Those three words represent the highest standards for the Kawasaki Mule side-by-sides. Trusted means being built strong and built to last. Tried means being put to the test by hardworking people doing the toughest job. True means staying authentic to the roots that run 30 years deep. Kawasaki Mule, the definition of trusted, tried, and true. See the Kawasaki Mule today at Full Throttle Power Sports, 101 Indian Walk in Lowell. 
How would you like a new heating and air conditioning system for just $85 a month? Of course you would. And you can have it today by calling Bill Shuford Heating and Air in Shelby. Get a new American Standard heating and air conditioning system for as low as $85 per month for qualified buyers on qualified systems. American Standard is rated number one in reliability. And they service all brands. Bill Shuford Heating and Air. 213 Campbell Street in Shelby. Online at BillShufordHVAC.com. Call 704-484-0025. It's the all-new Nissan of Shelby, where they do the right thing. First time, every time. Nissan of Shelby now has new management, plus a big new inventory with new prices, giving you a whole new customer experience. Check their amazing lineup, Nissan Rogues and Baranos, and trucks like the Nissan Frontier and Titan, plus a wide range of pre-owned vehicles with special rates and pricing. Come to the all-new Nissan of Shelby, 631 South Post Road, right off Highway 7 for Eastern Shelby. Online at NissanofShelby.com. Jumpin' Jed's in the heart of downtown Boston wants to wish the Burns Bulldogs the best of luck this season. Stop in for country, primitive, and farmhouse home decor. Also, Amish-made furniture, quilts, baskets, and more, along with Amish-made jams, jellies, sauces, and butters, plus Billy Jacob Prince and Smoky Mountain Soup. See the local artisan woodwork, pottery, jewelry, braided rugs, plus Hershey's ice cream in cups, cones, shakes, or floats. Jumpin' Jed's in the heart of downtown Boston. Open 10 to 6 Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 4 on Saturday. Like them on Facebook, too. It's time to power up. Power up with Skag Power Equipment powered by Vanguard. From Ellie's Supply Company in Polkville, the Vanguard is now available on the Skag Tiger Cat and the Skag Patriot models. See the Skag Tiger Cat 52-inch mower with Vanguard 810cc 28-horsepower EFI engine or the Skag Patriot available in 52 and 61-inch cuts with the Vanguard 810cc 26-horsepower engines. Power up with the Skag from Ellie's Supply Company, Highway 182 in Polkville, online at elliesupplyinc.com. Hey, Bulldog fans, it's Jennifer here from Wright's Jewelry in Boston. We are your number one shop for all of your jewelry and gift-giving needs. Showcases are full of plastic and fashion forward designs. I do have to say they're pretty incredible as I pick them out myself. Don't forget to come see me for all of your custom designs and engagement ring needs. Visit us, 4911 Boston Road, Boston. Shop us 24-7 online and follow us on social media, Right Story Store. It's truck season at Marburger Chevrolet in Shelby. Come to the new 2020. Chevy Silverado 1500 Crew Cab RST. Get 0% APR financing for well-qualified buyers, plus no monthly payments for 90 days when you finance with GM Financial. Plus get a $750 cash allowance. Or make every day a getaway with the new 2023 Chevy Equinox. Get 2.1% APR financing for well-qualified buyers or take $1,250 cash allowance. Get yours today at Barburger Chevrolet, 200 West Dixon Boulevard, Shelby. Attention home buyers, call Nelon Coal Termite and Pest Control before purchasing your new home to avoid getting stuck with extensive damage, typically not covered by homeowners insurance. Nelon Coal Termite and Pest Control will inspect your home for prior or present wood destroying insects and moisture. Call Nelon Coal Termite and Pest Control today to schedule your free estimate at 1 800 the number 7 the web and receive $25 off any new service from Neilon Co. Termite and Pest Control. Leaves have already started to fall. Are you ready for leaf season this year? Get ready with a stop in at Hojo Power Sports in Shelby and take a look at a leaf sucking machine. That's the Walker Mower, famous for leaf pickup for residential or commercial lawns. With a walker, your yard will look clean and fresh. Plus, you'll find blowers by Husqvarna, Red Max, Shadawa, and DeWalt. Make leaf season easy this year with a new Walker Mower from Hojo Power Sports. 110 Greg Street off South Lafayette Street in Shelby. Online at hojopower.net. The baby chicks are in at Parker. 
Family feed in Bellwood. Come get your baby chicks now. They have rabbits too, and they carry all of your pet and livestock food. Check out their new line of porch swings, and they have fall decorations including pumpkins, big beautiful, and bales of straw. Get your rye grass, Kentucky 31 grass, lime and fertilizer at Parker Family Feed. 121 Carpenters Grove Church Road of Highway 18 North in Bellwood. Like them on Facebook, too. All right, there's your final score. Wright's Jewelry Scoreboard, 56-42. And now we're into the stadium postgame show brought to you by Stamey Funeral Home of Falston, North Carolina. So we were 21-21 at the half. Burns took the second half kickoff, immediately went down and scored. They had a six-play drive, 62 yards, uh, capped off by a 12-yard run by Ben Mooney. Dixon kick was good. At that point, it was 28-21. East Gaston immediately answers. Uh, Brown, 71-yard uh, touchdown run. The Abernathy kick was good. At that point, it was 28-28. Then Burns strikes again, 56-yard touchdown. Uh, touchdown reception by Surratt. The kick failed, however, and at that point it was 34 to 28. On East Gaston's next drive, they go down the field and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven plays. And a drive that went 80 yards. Marion Pryor takes it the final 25 yards on a pass reception where he was wide open to the back of the end zone. Uh, kick was good. And that made it 35-34, but that's the last lead that East Gaston had. Burns answered on the 10-play drive, 426 off the clock, 65-yard run, 65-yard uh, drive. A Mooney run from seven yards out, from one yard out, excuse me, caps off the drive. The Mooney run was good on the two-point conversion, 42-35. Burns forced a three and out. And then Norris with an electrifying 44-yard touchdown run. The Dixon kick was good. And at that point, it was 49-35. Then Johnny Johnson, 35-yard touchdown on an interception return. The Dixon kick was good, 56-35. to But Brown strikes again, 67 yards. He had 130, what was that, 138 yards on two carries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty good, pretty good average. Uh, Brown, 67-yard touchdown run. Abernathy kick, good. Uh, at that point, it was 56-42. And then uh, Burns and East Gaston pretty much just trade possessions. Nobody else scores. 56-42 is where we ended up, and that's on your rights jewelry scoreboard. Robbie, what's the postgame stats? Take a look at the postgame stats for the Bulldogs through the air. Mooney, 273 through the air. His, take a look at the same receiver. Uh, Surratt ended up with 86 yards receiving. Uh, Warlick ended up with 95 yards. Uh, it was Goolsby with 41 yards. Uh, let's see. McGowan had 20. And Johnny Johnson with 7 yards receiving in the ground department. It looked like this. We talked about uh, Jeremiah Norris having negative 5 yards in the first half. It's hard to believe. Ended up with 101 yards uh, on the ground. And then Mooney with 49 yards rushing for the Bulldogs. Okay. So amazing that Norris had 105 yards in the second half. Yeah. Mooney with uh, two rushing touchdowns, I believe, though. Mm -hmm. So Mooney, uh, great game for him. Defensive side of the ball? No, don't have those. Oh, we don't have those yet? Okay, we're still – I thought we had those. Joe still totaling them up. All right, so we'll try to get some of those here in just a second. But uh, let's go ahead and give out some hardware. Our offensive player of the game brought to you by Parker Farm Service of Kings Mountain. And I believe we decided on that one to go with uh, Norris. Mm -hmm. uh, one of us said 101 on the ground. It did have a touchdown, and we talked about having to get the ground game going. They were able to do that in the second half. What a job he did uh, once they came back out after halftime. He did have two touchdowns. He also had a receiving two. touchdown. That's right, a receiving touchdown. And a receiving right. touchdown as well. So two touchdowns for our offensive player of the game, Jeremiah Norris. And once again, the offensive player of the game brought to you by Parker Farm Service of Kings Mountain, North Carolina. Now, 
Uh, for our defensive player of the game, we'd already make our decision on that. Defensive player of the game brought to you by Homestar Financial of Shelby, North Carolina. Johnny Johnson with the big touch uh, interception return for a touchdown. And that was the uh, 35 yards out, and that was really mu pretty much the cap uh, for uh, the game. And, you know, even though <laughs> it did seem a little bit in doubt there at the end, even with that three touchdown lead, but Johnny Johnson pick six to seal the game. He is your home star financial of Shelby defensive player of the game. And now it's time for our overall player of the game brought to you by SNR Auto Sales of Shelby, North Carolina. And of course he was our player to watch when 273 through the air. Uh, Moody had three touchdowns passing and then on the ground rushed for 49 and had a touchdown rushing as well. So what a performance tonight by Ben Moody, the senior quarterback for these Burns Bulldogs. So Mooney, I thought, had two touchdowns and a two-point conversion rushing. I might have to double-check. But he did have three pass TDs, 273 yards, uh, rushing touchdown, and a two-point conversion. Mm -hmm. So, because he had the one-yard touchdown, I think he had the 12-yard touchdown. So, yeah, he had two rushing touchdowns. So, he accounts for five touchdowns tonight. What a tonight. performance. What a performance. So, he is your overall player of the game. Once again, overall player of the game brought to you by SNR Auto Sales of Shelby, North Carolina. So, moving forward, what's going on next week with these teams? Well, East Gaston's not going to get any easier because guess what? They host Shelby next week, and they got you know they got a shot at them. I think they've got a puncher's chance. Mm -hmm. They need to button down some things on defense. Uh, Shelby, you know, there's a lot of things that they could expose East Gaston on, but that rushing attack, I'm telling you, it's a real deal. I didn't have time to add it all up, but you know, Brown on two carries had 138 yards by himself, so right. you know they're around 250, 300 yards on the ground again tonight. So. And I know Cheryl had to have over 100 yep, yards. Absolutely. Uh, so, I mean, they, their, their ground game is something to be reckoned with. And I kind of I like the way the stars align. This is a tough physical football game. Burns visits Cheryl next week. Shelby's got to play mm -hmm. these guys. Yeah. So it's going to be a little tougher, I think, for Shelby that they have to turn around and play Burns. They get the host Burns. They got them at home. Uh, but Burns next week at Cherryville. Then they come home to play, I mean, excuse me, then they go to Shelby uh, to play uh, the Shelby Golden Lions. Now, I would say that one would be all for all the marbles, but, you know, hold the phone. What if East Gaston beats Shelby next week? Whew. Then what if Shelby beats Burns, and then you've got a paradox? Yep, yep. So you'll have three teams with one loss that have all beat each other. Uh, so then they'll have to find some time, way. Yeah, the time, time, time for the time yeah. for the meeting in the secret yeah. rooms right, and all the right, drawings. Right, and wait for the white smoke, <laughs> right? So, you know, stay tuned. It's going to get interesting. Matt will be back with me next week. Robbie, thanks for filling yeah, in tonight. Yeah, man, what a great night. What a great yeah. game to see. I always love coming up to Lawndale to check out some football. And uh, thank you to Terry Reinhardt. Thank you to Kevin Hastings and the guy Calvin Hastings. Uh, back at the studio who have been texting me scores so I can keep you guys updated. And thank all of our sponsors for making this video broadcast possible every single week, especially West End Sales, your title sponsor. So one more time for Tom Sinifani and Robbie Roop, your final score on your right Stewart scoreboard, 56-42. to 42. Thank you for listening to Burns Football. Once again, brought to you by West End Sales. If you need fireworks for your event, then call on Contracted Pyrotechnics and talk with Dustin Ledford today. They are the bomb. Dustin is a graduate of Burns High School and supplies all the fireworks you've seen at the Burns High School football games. If your town organization needs fireworks, call Dustin Ledford today at 704-473-1996. That's 704-473-1996. Have a party, have a blast with Contracted Pyrotechnics. It's truck season at Marburger Chevrolet in Shelby. Come see the new 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 Crew Cab or get 0% APR financing for well-qualified buyers, plus no monthly payments for 90 days when you finance with GM Financial. Plus get a $750 cash allowance or make every day a getaway with the new 2023 Chevy Equinox 1% APR financing financing for well-qualified buyers or take $1,250 cash allowance. Get yours today at Barbara Chevrolet at West Dixon Boulevard, Shelby.